Welcome to the Emerging Gamer Podcast. This is your host, Lock and Key, bringing you in for episode 234. It's really great to be back, boys. We, we only key. bring them in now for special episodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm an Do asshole. you remember? No, no. Life is busy, whatever. Fuck that. Um, do you remember the number of the last episode you were on? I don't. No, it was probably in the hundreds. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> been so long. No, no. Yeah. I, you know what it would have been? It would have been 200. You were here for 200. Was I? Oh, yeah. the big 200. I feel like that was right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because we, we Diamond, made, Diamond was on it. We would have made a, like, a thing for that, for sure. Yeah, you, you were on That was a big deal show. Well, welcome back, dude. Welcome Thank back. you. Thank you. Cheers. Absolutely. Cheers, 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 everyone. For cheers. tonight's show, we just say we're, we're having a little, little bourbon. To celebrate you hear yeah. the year's Splash. end and the game of the year. Neo Aoshi, whose voice you just heard, uh, has brought over Jim Beam 100 Proof Bonded mm-hmm. Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And this is Trip Zero, who also loves bourbon. A toasted. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't introduce drink. you guys. I got it's so okay. excited. I got it's, so excited. It's okay. Yeah. You're it's okay. rusty. We understand. All right. Okay. Who, who, who do I have next to me over here? This is Felix Ergood. What's up? And who do I have to my left? This is Trip Zero. And down at the end of the table? Neo Aoshi. What's, what's up? up? What's up? Uh, so tonight we are doing our games of the year. Mm-hmm. Games of the year. We're going to be doing our top five games. We're going to be going through uh, all of our uh, favorite moments in gaming, why we love the games. Um, I really will just be commentating because I haven't played too many games that were released in 2019. But we'll be going through that as a collective. Um, yeah. yeah. And this is kind of our process that we normally do. Yep. We pick games that came out in 2019 and yep. that we played in 2019. Um a lot of times they do coincide with games that are on, you know, like the video game awards, major game lists. But we don't look at each game uh, without any kind of uh, tangible playing experience. So every one of our personal lists are a personal list mm-hmm. um, based on our own playtime this year and how we chose to spend that. So I think it's a cool, interesting way to do this. To yeah, there's no bit. way that I could comment on like every ha- game, half the games right. that I even fucking didn't play. Right. Like, mm-hmm. I got no opinion. You know? Yeah, so like things like Sekiro and Outer Wilds, and even further, those are I, games I, that are really high accolades. Right, would have loved, would have loved to play them. Would have loved to play them. I yeah. also don't feel that I spoiler. Can, I maybe that's on one of our lists. Maybe it is. <laughs> but <laughs> I also don't <laughs> feel that I can comment on a game that I didn't play fully. You know, sure. like, like at yeah. least a seventy-five percent worth of experience sure. in it. That might be something that's on your. More to come, or yeah, something, yeah. You know, your... We we talked that later. We're gonna we're gonna mention some uh, games that that kind of you know didn't meet the list, but mm-hmm. were Special. decent enough. Yeah, you know that yeah. I want to play more. You know, yeah, right, yeah, mm-hmm. right, yeah. Cool. So who, let's uh, let's kick it off at number five. Who wants to who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Me. Uh, should I go yeah, first? Yeah, let's we go should, first. Yeah, we should do a either pick one end, either one end. And start with, start with Neo. Mine's a quickie, and I'm glad we extended our list to top five because mm-hmm. I was able to stick this one on here. And I'm going to choose Sayonara Wild Hearts, mm. which is funny because – I heard of that. It is. I've never heard of that. You've never heard of it? Is that no. the music one? It is the music yeah, one. Yeah, you brought it up a couple times. Yeah. I, um, I looked at some footage of it. It came out on Apple Arcade. It premiered oh, on Apple that's Arcade. That's why I know the name. I'm sitting yeah. here like, well, I haven't um, not heard it, but I know I've – heard of it but i can't think of what it is yes it was one of the apple arcade launch yes. games um and it's also on switch and P- ps4 so it's it's easily available definitely recommend it on your apple device if you i think that's one of the first games diamond jab jumped into because he was very much into like experience yeah we were uh, we and we were both tweeting about it like pretty much at the same the time. apple arcade yeah um i remember and the reason why i loved it so much because it has an aesthetic style that's just really crisp really beautiful style like kind of almost like an outrun vibe like with the purples and the pinks um and it it's essentially you're playing through an album and the album is has the theme of like like getting over a breakup, mm. and it's it's a really beautiful beautifully produced soundtrack. Um, Damn. Spotify put out their uh, 2019. You know they put out their like what did you listen to in 2019 yeah, yeah. list? And was that on your on that your was list? like it was literally just sign our Wild Hearts tracks wow. like going down. Um, and near auto- automatic because I always put that on while I'm working. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just a really good soundtrack. Can I side? track real quick sure. please do um, sidebar just the way you you meant not the way but you mentioned near automata and you played it and you loved it yeah. and you do love you love near it's great i saw a tweet from um the developer of that game the creator of that game the guy who helms Damn. all the all the all the social media about it uh, he, he he has the face of the or his guy is like the uh the smiley creepy yeah he wears you know, the hel- he wears that mask yeah that guy tweeted uh congratulations on 10 years of the near series and i was like wait Near Automata wasn't Yoko the first Taro one. Taro is his name. Yes, that's the one. Mm-hmm. But I, I had never heard of this before. Near Automata. Are there more entries in this series? Near Automata. Yeah, yeah. there was Near, which came out in 
the PS3 era. No um, idea. The games aren't really wow. related. I know this is like a tangent. Yeah. On our no, it's just I, I yeah. when you said that I remember the tweet and I'm like, wait, ten years really? Did I miss something? It's been and a I while. I did. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, the games are loosely connected, but only via like like just the world they exist in. Kind no, of not even that. Not like, even like, that. Like just random references. Oh. That yeah, sucks. it's weird. It's like real loose, but mm, I'm out. You gotta play it. You, you gotta play Nier Automata <laughs> to really figure it out. At some day I'll play. Which it. I recommend. It's yeah. a very, very I'll good mind. time. But, but Siren Art Wild Hearts. The soundtrack is beautiful, and and that just caps off. The gameplay is like really nothing special to write home about, but so it, it just ca the game it just like draws you in with the music. So it was the experience, and the visuals, and the experience. Yeah, exactly. They got it on your um, list. And I I replayed it a bunch of times because it's real easy to just whip out my phone and like play through some levels and get a better score. And it's like a score attack rhythm game sure. kind of. Um, you're on rails. It's like it's like a mix of like a runner rhythm game. So, mm -hmm. um, and Queen Latifah voices. Uh, then she's a narration wow. narrator. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, definitely Queen recommend Latifah. just like at least checking out the soundtrack or yeah. just sign up for the Apple Arcade. Apple, play. Apple got some pretty good some talent. Get, yeah, they got some good there. gets. Um, I think it's a free trial some for good a, for a certain amount of time when you Dude, sign up. So. That Apple Arcade. I know we didn't talk about it much, but Apple Arcade launched with like Ocean Horn Two, which is like pretty good. Did you and see the a bunch of other games? Did you see the rumors cool. that about them making a gaming PC? No, Mac, Mac or mm -hmm. Apple. Wow. There, if, I, if I ever got there's that... rumors that they're going to be releasing, um, they're going to tease separately... it at WWDC specifically tailored for gamers to work with Apple Arcade as a separately branded device in their lineup, like like in their... its own Mac. Yeah, specifically designed. It'll be like for MacBook gaming. gaming or like MacBook Arcade or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know what they would do. Uh, sure. If I got that service, yeah, let's bar that from the conversation. <clears throat> if I got that service, like what? device would i use any apple device apple tv okay yeah so, so your apple tv would work um your mac your macbooks and your imac would work okay. you know it's really really cool felix and your ipads do you have the remote app for your apple tv i do if you play a game on there you yeah. can turn it sideways and it'll give you m a movement and buttons but i could for your game i could take oh, so you, you have a controller but I can now pair it. I, I've oh. already tested this. Yes. I can oh, pair it with yes. my PlayStation yeah. controller. Yeah. The latest Forgot iOS updates right. Did, for Did all you, Xbox and PlayStation. Does it work for Xbox? I thought not? it was only computers. I didn't know it was the Apple TV. Um, I believe. No, I, I paired my. You've yes. already done it. PS4 controllers work. I, I paired it with my phone. I wanted to try it out. I yeah, was yeah. playing Grand Theft Auto on my Apple TV. Mm. Like I was sharing the screen of my phone. I got you. Got you. To the Apple TV. What you're saying might be very possible. Them getting into a bigger game space. Yeah, I mean, it's. You guys think if I got that service, I would. I would play the games from my phone with my phone like plugged in, and the phone would be either one connected. A lot of these games exist. I mean, actually, yeah, I think you would all do them, it on. You would use on your Apple. Just TV. play it natively on your Apple yeah, TV. Yeah, you would okay. just use your Apple TV. Like you're not playing anything triple A yet. Like everything that you would run can run on an Apple TV, or right. has already been established on an Apple TV yeah. as a standalone app. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> so you'd be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's a very real possibility, mm -hmm. but they're gonna struggle. Significantly with making a gaming PC. Yeah. yeah. Because I mean, unless because they no do the thing one they do and hire people that, that are experts <clears throat> in that field. The price point's the problem. Mm. Because yeah. you buy, you have a ton of people that make budget builds, like Felix was saying he did. Right. Or yep. <clears throat> whatever, or go top spec, and a top spec PC is going to far outweigh a top spec Mac in terms of cost and what you're getting at that same price point because you're buying an Apple product. So That's a good point, they'd have right? to get very competitive. Um, so it, depending on how serious they are, I think it's a good idea, but they need to really think about like where they're going to try and capitalize on the market because there's going to be a lot of hate on it. Yeah, it's not really it's not really our model. And a good point you brought up was that a similar price point to what a Mac would be when you buy that does not match a PC spec. No, have... think think about what a, you'd buy a four thousand dollar gaming Mac, yeah. and that would be if you spent four thousand dollars on a gaming PC right now, you'd have. Like two, I don't know, you know if you 2080 can. TIs. Right, you'd have I'll to tell you right, SLI, SLI your cards. Right. Yeah. So it's like, what, what are when you going to get in that? Yeah. When I was an Apple Arcade member for the trial, <clears throat> right. a few of the games did work on my 2011 notebook here. Mm -hmm. So I did play Sayonara on my notebook right. and on my phone. So right. those games aren't demanding, but if they want to get into like a better gaming space, correct, correct. Right? That's, those are the moves they would have to make. Or they, yeah. build, they make a gaming machine that's budget-friendly, that's specifically for Apple Arcade, that's not going to be for AAA like, titles. Like for... no file system, like no accessible computer. Right. Just like something that sits on your desktop, like a maybe. Steam can run it better than an Apple yeah, TV, yeah, yeah. but it's for that correct. specifically. Yeah. Correct. Well, um, that maybe has a tailored OS mm -hmm. specifically for it. I don't know. That's yeah, certainly know. interesting to think about. Yeah. Um, but for now... 
Yeah, you're game, game number five. five. I'm glad. I'm glad we got yeah. through that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk Sign about our it. wild hearts. Sign our wild hearts, guys. It's really good. Number five. Um, just for you. All right. Go, number go ahead, five uh, for Trip Zero. My number five game of the year is Destiny Two Shadowkeep. Mm. That's your number five. Number five. Yeah. So yeah. the game, um, the game you spend the most time with. Yes, oh. it's my number five. Mm. There, I have a lot of reasons for this. Um, I could not put the game any higher, and I arguably was about to make this game my number six and have. Destiny not on the list at all. Um, but when I thought about what the Shadowkeep release did for Destiny and how much more playtime it kind of uh, injected into the series and how I brought story beats that I didn't expect until like a mainline Destiny 3 release and how much how much fun there was and how much it grew uh, both the Emerging Gamer community and my own yeah. community, uh, I could not acknowledge it in some way. But putting it at 5 is kind of like my my cut to it because I do have a lot of problems with how they release content this season. Mm. Um, so now this is the first year that they've been free from Activision. Yes. They're entirely. on their own mm -hmm. yeah. new type of model yep. for the way they are, they're releasing stuff in their game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would say that I think season of season of Dawn, <clears throat> which is what's currently happening right. is significantly better than season of the undying, which released with shadow keep. I would in agree. My, in my yeah. opinion, like yep. when you strip away Shadow Keep to what Trip is saying is his number five, the content that you got from Shadow Keep was great. Season but there, the, there was a pe there was a season there was a season along. mixed into yeah. that, and when you just do Season of the Undying, it was not a lot. Mm -hmm. And now this is our first season that didn't have a major DLC attached to it. Right. So with this season, um, they're doing story a correct. lot better. Even correct. their seasonal um, activity, which is going to go away right. uh, by the time next season comes out, is better than what we got last yeah. season. So the season al alone is, is great. But um, it's really – the reason that I put it at five is kind of the way they're doing content right now, which originally I was kind of like stoked mm. on a little bit. But mm. um, as you guys know, like as much as I love this game, I've been taking a lot of time off of this game. haven't yeah. been on in a while. And I think if I were to come back to the game, I'd want to focus on things that don't that are count, kind of counterintuitive to how you're supposed to play the game mm. from Bungie's messaging currently. Mm. Okay. Like I wouldn't have a desire really to go for titles anymore. I didn't right. get the uh, Undying title last season. Mm. Haven't started no at all on the Saint 14 title this year. No desire. I'd want to play Crucible, which I know is still getting a big pop from a lot of you guys in, uh, in our Discord community. Or I'd want to go and do like raid challenges solo, mm. which is the opposite of how the game wants you to play now. The game, I feel, is very much a checklist game right now. Sure. You're completing Triumphs. You're completing your season pass. You're completing your seasonal guns, and then everyone stops playing. Yeah, there's no, there's no reason, or there's no people don't feel the the draw to play this game for fun, to do the wild activities, to do just stuff just to do it. If it's there's not a, if there's too. not a reward, yeah. uh, you get very little interest in asking people to play certain activities. Sure, you get you get almost none. No, I agree. I agree. I mean, the only reason why I still play it, and I don't think I have five games, but just for the sake of, of continuing this conversation, I would also put Shadow Keep on my game, one of my games of the year. And not because you mean I the think. Fifth? Yeah, I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to have five. I'm going to just continue the conversation. And it would be on my list of however many games okay. I can think of in the moment. Um, it. Because of the the memories and time I've had with the game, sure, it's not so much even the game itself. It's it's the community that we have. It's it's the people mm -hmm. that I love playing with, um, and it's some of the things that we've been able to achieve in 2019 as a community that would that would put it on my list. The social yeah. aspect um, is certainly a, a huge draw of Destiny. It is, yeah. it is, and I think Shadowkeep as a DLC was good. I don't want to take anything away from the DLC itself, sure, but the game is uh, struggling a little bit. W I think Bungie is struggling to figure it out without Activision, and I think in the long run it will be a good thing for them. But I think they're trying to figure it all out, and we, we are essentially along for the ride with them. Um, but to Tripp's point, I think what players need to understand is like you need to be doing something in Destiny that you really enjoy doing um, because there's nothing to really... There are things to grind for, but you probably want to go after that. Like you would want to be grinding for a specific triumph or a specific challenge right. because you want to, to do that. You're not doing it because you feel like you have to. Or the turnoff for um, me is being forced into an activity that I don't want to play in the moment, but right. I know that if I don't get this done now, my work later is going to pile up or I'll miss out on something. But and I that think creates a kind of resentment for me personally. But I think you, you have the opportunity to let that go because I let that shit go. A long time ago. Oh no, I do. But, right. So do. like the title, not getting the title last season was the first step, and I was like, wow, I don't really feel right 
sad about this. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Like I did almost no Vex offensive, which was the activity from the yeah. fi from the pre prior season. It's funny. I did a like, little bit of it. Like I no, I played a little yeah, bit yeah. enough to get some guns, but mm -hmm. then like that's it. And then I would just went back to what I like doing, which is Crucible. Crucible. And I just played Crucible, and I enjoyed every yeah. time I played Destiny because I was just doing what I like to do. Funny anecdote but, about the Vex Offensive. Um, a couple days, maybe three or four days before the end of the season, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, how do I get this title done? Right? Mm. I'm, I'm like, how do I just burn through this content that I had all season to get, but I didn't play it? How do I finish this? I found – I'm not going to go into details because I don't want to spread this kind of um, information, even though it's not as innocuous as other Destiny tricks out there. But I found like a way on my computer – to essentially instance myself into areas solo. Mm -hmm. Things that are normally multiplayer, I could go in there solo. Got you. Okay. So I tested this out, went into the Vex Offensive, and usually this is, if you don't know, uh, it's for the listeners out there, it's a six-person activity, which is match-made all the time you, you go in. You can't load you can't into the solo. Yourself. There's no heroic <clears throat> mode for solo. There's nothing like that. So if there are objectives that you have to complete, like get certain kinds of kills or certain amounts of kills, you're battling five other people to get this stuff done. Well, I went in there solo, and I was like, oh, I can just – finish this all up because so, a lot of it is just kills yeah literally right in certain ways so i right. did i did two whole vex offensives and if you get to the last round you're just in there infinitely because if you make no you're never gonna be boss, boss progress you're just you're right right, right so right. i knocked out a couple of triumphs that way and i'm like what the fuck am i actually doing like i'm gonna get this title that said i did all these things in the right. season right. i'm never gonna wear it because i like wearing ribbon you like pain. you like the one like, you have yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, i'm gonna call it side <laughs> and, right, and then I, I play so, something else. Right, so, it sounds like you were playing games like Felix. No, yeah, just yeah, yes. grinding. Like, why am I doing into this? the fucking just to grind dirt. for no yeah. reason? Yeah, I mean, it, I'm I'm actually kind of happy for you. I, I'm, dude, I feel great. To be honest, I feel great about it. I know, I know. Uh, the the Destiny chat in the Discord is, is missing is missing their trip zero. They are. But, they are. I gotta um, get back to it for sure. No, no but I mean, it's it's good, man. Because then you you do get to a point where you can, especially in your situation where you're maining that, mm -hmm. right? Like, and you were you were maining it, right, for your stream and all that. Yep. Like, you can get to a point where you will truly resent the game. Yeah, and you don't want that for that, the game that you that's love. That's why right? I've been like, stepping away, right. not to grind it into the fucking. Dirt. Yeah, I mean, because if you look at some of the top Destiny creators, and we'll stop after this so we can get to Felix and keep yes. moving. But we have lots um, of names to. Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. If okay. you look at at some of the the top Destiny content creators, like there is a lot. Like we're further along than just a twinge of frustration and hate. Like people are are getting over that game and moving on to other things because they're 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 at a point now where they're they've burned themselves out from, lot, from the game and there's a lot um, of discontent because right. there's there's gameplay loops that i feel like don't right give you the feeling that you need to feel when you're playing Destiny. yeah well, so. i mean i know for me like i i like hopping in for like the expansions and the raids right. and stuff like right. i love playing in the game there's nothing wrong with the with it right but, for me personally, dedicating all of my time to doing mm. these like minor activities to get right. these this gun, that gun, this title, like there are other things for like me personally, like sure. other things I want to experience and play. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's easy for me to go, okay, I experienced the content, I experienced the raid, I experienced played right. with you guys, I came yeah. and we did some crucibles, yep. it's fun. Right. Yeah. I'll play something else and stuff. Right. right. I mean right. like I someone who doesn't dedicate themselves to destiny, it's you know easy for me to say that but no no it, i mean it makes sense it, it does and it and i think um you know more and more of our own community is doing that as well like a lot of the people in our own community mained destiny as their game a lot mm -hmm. right and i think more and more you know diamond has been doing way more other games even though he played he always played yeah. a lot but he's well, been he's been doing a lot more you know people and he's been doing a lot modern more modern warfare you know? tarkov all these yeah, games yeah, that, yeah which is great that give you similar like competitive and exciting yeah. feelings but yeah, yeah, yeah. don't demand your time the way destiny does right right all right felix, felix number five number five number five i'm gonna what rattle off mine and i'll rattle off diamonds as well cool sure. oh cool okay yeah, sure. so so just so you know felix is speaking for diamond jab huge uh, member of the community yeah, yeah. He says huge correspondent he, we wanted Great him dude. to be on the show but he couldn't he couldn't make it due to time constraints or whatever but yeah um the weirdest thing is my number five and his number five are two games that came out this year cool that, that have very very closely related titles I and are they're. often quite, quite what's <laughs> often these two games are so confused confusing do you want to do his first then I'm going to do, do mine well because if you want to talk deeper about yours say what he I can't has. speak to his game at all cuz I didn't play it all I know about his game okay. cuz I nearly nearly bought his game thinking it was the game that's my number 5 my number 5 is the outer worlds 
the okay. Outer Worlds. And his is The Outer Wilds. Uh, oh. The award for bi- biggest confusing <laughs> wow. game. Yeah. Two confusing games from one year. Um, That's but funny. I literally, funny. I was five minutes until I could buy officially, or not buy, because I already bought it, download officially The Outer Worlds when it came out. And I searched for The Outer Worlds and got The Outer Wilds. Mm. And then went in and saw a price. And I was like, wait a minute, I already fucking pre-ordered this game. Why the fuck? Mm. It, you know? And I nearly bought The Outer Wilds. Like, do you, do you, can I ask you a question? Do you yeah. just go into a, a digital store and see no prices because you own everything? Is that your normal experience when you're yeah. browsing it's your like, console? What, typically. Okay. Why is there a price There's here? There's a price I should, here. I should have bought that already. I thought I bought everything. True, to, true to form, this is a game I actually pre-ordered pre-ordered and then found out that it was a part of the game pass so i ended up like removing my pre-order and i didn't pay for it i got it through Mm. game pass and that's why i was fucking confused when the outer wilds came up and it had a price and i was confused and then i i read oh wilds the fuck is this game? So do you want to do you want to read why Diamond likes Outer he Wilds? He didn't write anything about Outer Wilds. Oh, okay. So I can't really like all I can say so, is that was his number five. I played right. like four hours of it. Yeah, it's a it's a journey. It's a game where you're self discovering. You're you're um exploring the small it, solar it system. It seemed a lot like the game that you guys love, the space game, No Man's Sky. Yeah, kind. Of, it's it not a lot like that. It's not as freeform <laughs> as that. There's a mystery in the solar system that you are uncovering by reading languages and gifts uh, oh, okay. glyphs. Um, and the world resets every like 22 minutes and Ooh. you take all that information with you. It's very, it's very much like, um, what's that space game that's a narrative style that you like? The narrative sure. space game. Where, where you're trying to go out and figure out this world, the, the purpose of this The world. one that has a name from Washington, Tacoma? Yeah, similar, kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tacoma sim- was lit, dude. Yeah, you're, you're trying to uncover this world mm-hmm. and you're this, this – this alien who's on this rickety wooden spaceship, and you're going to these various locations where you're um, trying to figure out like what 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 is what what was the life the alien life before you were here, um, and you're uncovering the mystery of this solar system. Uh, the world resets every 22 minutes, so you have to start over again. Kind of, you keep your notes. Uh, your spaceship has like a kind of like a, a board with the pins, and like it, it has oh, like a, cool. and you're slowly uncovering the purpose and. This has been game of the year for many people on Damn, the internet. I'm kind of upset I missed this game. Sure. Yeah, it sounds this, right sure. on my ass. I played like five hours yeah. of it. It's pretty available. Um, it's it's good. I definitely like recommend it. Like off of playing the and five it's, hours. And it's a Outer Wilds is in it's Game a, Pass outer or Outer Wilds? The Outer Wilds. Is it, um, no, Outer Wilds is in Game Pass or Outer Worlds was in Game Pass. Outer Worlds is in Game Pass. Bo- Obsidian's game. Both are. Yeah. Both, both are. are. Both are. Mm-hmm. Both are. Really confusing. <laughs> yeah. Great job. Um, this is what I'm saying. No, I yeah. searched. For if the you want to play a game with play. powder in the title, you can. And they're yeah. they're available. So yeah, that's that's very much like a narrative style game. Um, and then of course, and then the Outer, Outer Worlds, Worlds, which, which is my like. number yeah. five, uh, is a game that is made by Obsidian. And you love Obsidian. I love Obsidian. Yeah, Makers of New Vegas. The reason why this love gets Dragon Glass. Right. They made New Vegas. Love and, and, and yeah. we all know. <laughs> Do we all know the reason why I loved New Vegas the most? Because it's the closest to 76. No. Uh, I, how did because, I Because, how did because I you, play kill, you, you killed, killed everyone, like every kill, single person. I could kill every yeah. character. Yes, we got him. Uh, so I played the it. Outer Worlds exactly the same way, and I was able to kill all but three of the characters in the game. Congratulations. And that was such a thrilling and fun experience. <laughs> Uh, I loved it. That's the one they intended. <laughs> and, and <laughs> I have not, thrilling. as of yet, I've only played – maybe five missions legitly without murdering everyone because uh, I started a, a new save. Um, but you did beat the game. Doing, I beat the game killing, a murder killing everyone. Yeah. 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 Um, Wait, there's I, actually like a win condition that says like, well, you killed everyone. Here's the, you did it. Oh, yeah. There, there's a different like story. Or it kind of like, does it like plow you to like the finish line kind of? Because you've skipped like a bunch of quests and stuff. I qu- skipped a good majority of the game. I like talked. <laughs> I talked to somebody. They were telling you play that quest where then was like oh, no. Dude, nope, a- killed him. AGDQ starts I think on Sunday. Did you submit a speed run for this? <laughs> yeah, for I, killing everyone? I probably had a speed run. I did the game in two and a half days. Jesus, the whole game. You haven't played any games days. in two and a half days ever. <laughs> Me, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, but I completed very, the Outer Worlds in two two and a half uh, days, and I had a wonderful time doing it. Eventually, I'll go back and play all those story shit that people wrote. 
Movie you know, the writing and the voice acting. Yeah, yeah like, I, dude, I'm on the Reddit for it. <laughs> the gameplay. I'm on the Reddit for it, and there's always people posting screenshots of really funny dialogue. Yeah. Cause they, it's really like, well written. They were like, <laughs> it's really well written. It's hilarious. I was like, yeah, I wish I would have seen all that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> but the guns are cool. The guns are cool. Well, the guns are cool. Yeah, that's my number five. Nice. I'm out. Peace. All right. All right. <laughs> Locke, did you have anything you want to? He hopped on to, on to Destiny. Yeah, cool. Conversation. Cool. yeah. 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 All right, I'm going to go to my number four now. Okay, number four. Do it. Number four, okay. baby. I'm not reading. I'm not looking. You're not looking. All right, so this is a this is a big one for me. I love this game. It's Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I saw that when I was scrolling through the list. I, yeah. I was hoping that would be on there for you. I um, heard fantastic things about this expansion. Um, by far, the best of the stories. Really? So far, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, the best Final Fantasy I've played in years. And I played wow. 12 this year. I played Final Fantasy 12 this year. Um, which is pretty good. I didn't finish it. I'm like halfway through that. But four, but 14 Shadowbringers introduced this weird twist in the story. Um, it ended the f the last expansion. I'm sorry, Trip. This is gonna be a it's, little, it, little yeah, spoilery. It's, it's okay. I've got. I'll, I'll be playing where I'm at for the next yeah. five years anyway. You're, so you're gonna I'll forget. forget by you're the gonna time forget this. I get around to it. <laughs> but essentially, There's so many goddamn questions. Pre Shadowbringers, it left you on a cliffhanger of what was going on in the real world. And kind of oh. like sidetracks the cast of characters, the main cast. I only this. have I only have one world in my yeah. You do. Where I'm at in the story. I don't know. There's that I'm not in the real world. There there is another <laughs> world, and and it's so Jesus cool. Christ. And the reason why I'm giving it number four is because the story explains its world even deeper, and it and like it harkens back to like where you are right now in in various ways because they talk about all the I'm not I don't want to go into huge details, but all like the what are the the summons that are the enemies. Right. Oh, the um, the stories. The, uh, yeah, primals. The, the primals. Yeah. So the, the original story of the first part of the game is about the primals being used by the scions. Yep. Uh, not the scions. The, the um, evil. The evil dudes people. with the the Laha Breha. Yeah, the, yeah. Those that's, guys. That's, yeah, that's it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, this is like me like recalling like like six yeah, months ago right. story flashing story. back to the stories. Um, and the story uses that. It brings it back in a really crazy way. Explains their backstory. Explains their purpose. Explains all of this. And it has a huge emotional arc that it goes through. Meanwhile, you're learning new skills. You're so, doing yeah, not all only, the So, yeah, not only does it, does it draw out, of course, new story, new interaction, but it, it takes what you've already experienced yes. and kind of, like, gives you emotional weight to that. And it fleshes out the current characters that you're already familiar with, the ones that are currently in the early parts yeah, of the yeah. games. And you're continuing on this journey that they've been – updating constantly and just mm. just making a really good living world that that you feel like you're like a part of and, yeah. and oh yeah and just just via the story not even just like the social stuff that you do not even all that like your guilds and your clans and all that but like they do a really good job at really fleshing out everything that they've laid on the table and the writing is so good because as we know final fantasy 14 died originally right. and they and they even wrote that into the story, right? So like, uh, oh, like, I heard about this. Yeah, yeah when, I heard when, about this. One, when one yeah, was... died, they wrote it into the story. Like a right. meteor was hitting the. Planet. I was a, I was yeah. a 1.0 player, yeah. and in the last it's month, uh, I forget the their length of time, but at least in the last month of game time, there was there was like a like almost like remember Final Fantasy VII when we get to the end disc, there's like a meteor in the sky. You can yeah. See? Yeah, 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 there's a there was a big red flaming rock. And then when when they finally relaunched it, there was the opening cutscene of there's there's a big smart. there's a great huge there's a battle great of all the continents coming together. And the meteor the It's not a meteor though. This is like spoilers for like seven years ago when this yeah. game stopped. Oh, right? it, uh, it, it was Bahamut. I was going to say, is it Bahamut? Yeah. Bahamut it came was. out of the meteor and it was this epic seven minute, like it was a seven minute trailer that they released with a beautiful score and everything. It was right. really good. And it essentially, that trailer, was, or it was, it essentially was a trailer for A Realm Reborn. So it was the final cutscene you saw in 1.0, right. but at the end of it, it said we're "Realm Reborn." We're, we're right, the right, realm right. is coming back. I mean, I don't think yeah. anyone, I don't think anyone has recovered a game as well as Final Fantasy XIV. And they're keeping up with like WoW. You can make an like, argument that, that Warframe had a had a dip and a resurgence, but Warframe never fell as hard they didn't as stumble. Final Fantasy XIV. No, I mean, 1.0 when. Like 1.0 was bad, it's fucking trash. Be real like bad. it was real bad. Yeah. No one played. Everyone I went played back to 11. Yeah. Like yeah. everyone went back to a game that came out like that Ju looked like that was two. Fucking I made found with Legos. Some, I found some 1.0 screenshots on an old computer of mine. I can't old like, backup. It was bad. It's bad. Yeah. Like All it was right. not yeah. like so. Warframe may have taken a dip, but like 
1.0 of 14 was awful yeah. in every way. Not to, not so to I would like, agree with that. Like that's a huge track. resurgence. It was 14 was so bad that they pulled the Final Fantasy 15 team and the Kingdom Hearts team. This right. is this is why those games took so long, right? Right. They pulled both of them to help reboot 14 right. because right. of the loss that that company was about to yeah. take, because the reputation of Final Fantasy was more important to them. Uh, than I didn't than anything understand else. the Warframe reference. Warframe just struggled out of the gate. It didn't. It didn't. Like, oh, really and then you're, you're saying that it snowballed yeah. into something great. Right, right, right. Warframe. Warframe Launch, has yeah. a huge following. I thought yeah. you were for a second there. My mind wasn't contemplating. I thought you were <laughs> yeah. saying it got worse. No, no, no. Well, Warframe no, launched better. free to play. Yeah, I remember. And still remains uh, all free to play. Yeah. And you yeah. can buy like cosmetics, and you can speed up the process of building stuff. Yeah, I bought it. Um, but you know, download it. Or whatever the fuck. Free but like, he, he doesn't know because he buys everything. <laughs> you know, I think free. I had that somewhere. I don't he know, clicked whatever. on. It. I I no. I bought. I bought it. I spent. Buy, 60 he, bucks. Yeah, you do have to hit buy. You yeah. know it's free. So yeah. he did technically buy it. I did buy. You it. probably do it. own something in there. You probably gave yeah. him real money for something. No, I didn't. Yeah, three hundred hours in Warframe. I don't think did I you. Did. Yeah, from like four years ago. How many I've hours? Never, I've never done it. Like three hundred. You know what I did? I yeah, it's a good game. I would pop in and watch it, but I don't like watching it. I wanted to experience it. So confusing to watch. Really weird. It's hectic and crazy. Yeah. I did it on the Switch. Mm. But then stop after like a day. I was like, I, yeah, I right. would rather play this on PC. Exactly. But I don't want to play it on PC, no, so I'm just not going right, to play Warframe. Right. And I got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole process of how I'm that with you, man. Yeah. I'm with it you. was clunky on the Switch, but it was cool that I yeah. could play a game like a looter. It was right. It was a it was a thing on the, on right, the right, Switch. Right, right, right. It was a launch title on PS4. So that was one. Yeah. Of the, that was one of the first things I got on PS4. But right. then I ended up getting a gaming PC, and then I put all my got time it. into it. Got it. Um, I mean, I know I don't know we're talking about Warframe now, but they they added so much shit to it. <laughs> yeah, back um, to Final Fantasy. Yeah, 14. fourteen. Essentially, it, it was it, the the end of the end of the game was a very emotional beat that was just it was satisfying. I, I mean, I've yeah. I've had this echoed across Twitter. Um, yeah, no, I've I've heard yeah. nothing but amazing things Both about the, the DLC. T Rex and Char, Destiny players that that are also right now big in the Final Fantasy fourteen. Skill up too. They, they both. Yeah tweeted about like crying at the end and I was like fuck man it's good yeah fuck, it's I don't have good. the time to play you Final don't. you Fortnite. don't you don't but I would but, love uh, to what, something they're doing uh, that's not rolled out yet but what they're doing is they're condensing all of the missions that are in right 1. now 0. in 1.0 okay, yeah. so just I'm not going to go too deeply into this but 1.0 uh, or whatever they call it the Realm first Reborn. the first expansion Realm of Born has 100 150 quests in the quest line right then there is the second expansion right called uh heavensward yep. but before heavensward their updates throughout the year were releasing additional stories uh, so there's like a hundred story missions before you get to heavens yeah, i don't have time too they, long. Th Wait, this too year long. Too, too long. this year Wait, coming out they're condensing all that into something really extremely shorter yep mm. so um, stay tuned so mm. just to cap this off is i stopped playing this 14 this year uh, with their with their patch that added the raid that included near automata in into the game. Oh right, right, right. A, a full on crossover with near automata, and I was like, I gotta play this. Right, right. Um, and the only thing I know about that expansion is that you can get the uh, the two B outfit, outfit yeah. which gives everyone who wears it like a plump ass, even if you're like a guy character. Need, and everyone on Twitter it. loved that. So hmm? my my dragon my dragon girl had to wear it. Um, and let me just one last shout out to. That song, that boss fight song, is a. You, if you can YouTube this, if you're familiar with the Final Fantasy music mm -hmm. and the near music, is it Nobuo doing this? Uh, I don't know. Mm. I can't confirm. I'll, yeah, I can, I'll find out. But is the near automata costume, the one with the good ass. Yes, she's wearing the black. And I know she's what you're wearing. Yes. She's got the blindfold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we made it Wait. to game four. He's already <laughs> fucking. He's yeah. already there. There. Um, the the song for that boss fight is a perfect rendition of much, the Final dude. Fantasy theme. <laughs> And the near automata theme. Oh, together. And and it, it it's beautiful. Just I'll check, put it, I'll put check it on. It out, it's yeah, a yeah. beautiful balance between. I'll do both the near songs. song first, so I can understand the. Uh, yeah, it the combines. Weaving, it's the song together. called "Way to the World." Cool. I'll, I'll text it to you later. Um, and the Final Fantasy cool. theme, which is highly recognizable at this point. Yeah. And that's my number four. Awesome. Can I ask? A, can I? Can I interrupt and ask a quick question? Is it about yeah, our yeah. list here? Um, I don't remember what we said. Do the games have to be released in 2019? I think so. Yeah, because yeah, I took a, I took one of the games. There's. Off this list, uh, can, my, can mine not be? No, you get a pass. You All get right, a pass. You, thank you. <laughs> just fucking say whatever you want. Yeah, dude. say whatever you want. I'm good. I'm all putting. Right. I'm putting. I'm just making myself. sure we're all on the we same can, page yeah, here. Because I'm going to say a game and you're going to be like, "That's fucking old as shit, Josh." <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Say what you want, Rob. <laughs> all, right. all right. So it's your turn yes. for four, right? Game four. Yep. The Division Two. No. Oh my God, that made your list. Wow. Really? The Division Two is my game four. Was good. 
That's that's my eh. most underplayed investment of twenty. That's my um, most. It is, it's mine too because I bought that hundred dollar like no, you did wrap all, did. all so the uh, all the releases you, in. You got the early access. I didn't play yeah. a single expansion of that <laughs> oh fucking game. Yeah. I didn't play a single. I, did I didn't I play the raid. That, I bought that one I did too. nothing. Yeah. I did none okay. of it. Uh, I did really none funny, of it. Because I'd so rather funny. play D- Division One still over Division Two. No. If I were to, yeah, the setting of New York alone is uh, is the, better. The winter, New York winter is just so it's, fucking it's good. It's really, really good. good. And the survival mode, awesome. Yeah, it was really go good. Ahead. Yeah. But, go ahead. Division Two. Go ahead. I um, need to hear this because we, we just laughed all over its face. I know. I know. But when I think back to. Division 2, how it hit, how it had the full one-to-one scale Washington, D.C., yeah. mm. how it was fun to play in the same way, whether you were solo, whether you were with friends, um, the scaling that they did, again, multiplayer or solo, the loot system up until the end, there were problems with like the super, super endgame grind to get raid ready, which, again, I didn't touch the raid. Um, and the way that that D.C. world felt alive in a way that was direct contrast to the New York winter, not in a way that was better or worse, but just like a natural healthy progression from the story and how much more human it felt because people were starting to rebuild and the settlements, you know, you could help them out and they would have lights uh, uh, appear and like Mm. little common areas and like you could actually help the world feel more alive and and grow. Yeah. 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 Um, And just, I was finding secrets naturally through gameplay, you know, like you can walk around in buildings and find art, you know, the declaration mm-hmm. stuff like that. Just the, the overall experience of the game, including the gunplay and the way they, that they improved the skills from, uh, from division one felt really, really good. And I, I right. couldn't wait oh, See, to, me, to it, spend time it felt like a back step. in that world. It felt like a, it felt like a backwards step. Eventually. Did it? Yeah. Because I did play the Division One. Yeah, but like the end game was yeah, Division One was like all about like get your sets. Like you were mixing yeah, and matching that, gear. You're play you're playing Division One. Like Diablo. Yeah, no, but not even that. Like Division One didn't have that. Like, not not 1.0. Right. So you're 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 I'm playing final year Division right. One after yeah. after they said our game sucks and let's try and rebuild it. Right. Right. So. I, I guess they should have learned might be it better for in two. like two or three years. Right, they right? should have like, learned. It's totally, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's. Yeah, I, I felt like we've been here already. Like we're mm. back to we're back to square one again, and we're still learning. Like that was yeah, my it's pro- probably the rush to try and finish a game. Yeah, but and, I would agree. I think the the like the the very minuscule amount that I played Division <laughs> Two, and it's sure. the, it's my worst investment, only because. Sorry. I didn't get to play it. it. It has nothing to do with the game itself. It's the fact that I thought I could juggle another games of a service, like another service game. Oh, I, I was, was abso- not, absolutely. Never, I never thought I could do yeah. Destiny, Division, and Anthem. Jesus. Well, luckily Christ. you didn't have to do Anthem because that fucking that blew up. Yeah. That fucking dumpster fire. But, I deleted the uh, the the what were they called a Legion version. Right, right, on my right. computer. Right. It was like that came with the the monthly subscription. I was yeah. like, let's just get this. Yeah, let's get this out of here. But but the I, I still think their environment is great. Like I yeah. think yeah. DC feels amazing walking around yeah. DC. Or just and fleshed out. Yeah. Really absolutely. Good. I mean absolutely. The, the mission areas were so dynamic and I think were mm. were on par with Division Ones, uh even yeah. exceeding mm-hmm. them at some points for uh difficulty, for challenge, for like yeah. uh epicness of the scope of the areas, like the the set pieces, the moments you go through, it was a great game to play. But but I'm experiencing it, and the reason it's on my list is I'm experiencing almost like a campaign, sure, of a single player game that you could possibly have friends hop in with you to help and play and and jam. Then you're done. It's not at all what they intended the game to be, which was a Destiny, a the Warframe, you, you uh, an Anthem, yeah, right. consistently experiencing world because there was there was nothing to do in that after you were done, mm. like. The big thing was that after you finished the game, oh, now it's World Tier 1. Which sure. really just meant the the premise replay, was that... Replay got, the whole thing over. Right. The premise was that it was invaded again by terrorists, and now you had to go and, and clear Different the terrorists out. Yeah. But all you're really doing are playing their strongholds, which were like high-level dungeons. You were just doing the strongholds again mm. to do that same content. Then once you were done the strongholds, it was time for World Tier 2, which again was right. playing the same content. And I was like... Mm-hmm. I don't feel a desire to do this. Right. Even though I could like get loot drops that could help my build get better. I have no desire to work on my build. I just want to, I like I, I have fun shooting right. guys in the park. Right. Which, that is, feels which good. is the strongest part. Yeah. Right. But yeah. there's no hook to make me want to grind Keep for more. Keep doing it. Right. Right, I, right, right. I think one of the biggest nails for me for it was when they delayed the raid. 
This, mm. this killed me the most. They you remember this trip. Delaying the raid right made me decide to not play the raid. But then the next that's content. That's normally not a problem because Destiny does it too. My problem was well, they never delayed a raid. They haven't. No, mm -mm. they've never had like a delay of any content mm -mm. or anything like that. Did they you could argue, you could argue um, they delete Shadowkeep, but right. the raid's not part. Well, it... well, here's here's the problem. They've, they've the never semantics. like released yeah. a DLC and said the raid's going to be out on Friday, and then Monday they're like, oh fuck, the raid's not ready. It's going to be out in two weeks. Like that's never right. happened. So yeah, what, Div what Division Two did was they <clears> delayed <throat> it, and then like the week before they decided to release it, they were like, oh hey, it's coming out this weekend. So like oh yeah there I, I forgot there was like remember a that? scramble and I was because like, you have people that are going to be competing for I worlds first eight, of course I wanted to play the raid yeah and I was like I have to find eight people who are up to gear we were having a conversation code. and then no one was ready when no actually, one was yeah. ready not no one right. and like no one and everyone was like already like okay well they're taking too long for this and people dipped went back to destiny that was just yeah. a mess and like I was like I guess that's it for I mean look, I would still yeah. love to it like go and do that because I do think. Like, I love the, the um, Division One endgame content like, yeah. overall. Like, once they fleshed it out, like, it was fun. Like, the tactical shooter with the mix of abilities in, like, their raids was always a good time. Yeah. Um, the, the barrier to entry to get there is, is the struggle because there's nothing between, like, free roam and endgame that keeps you hooked besides just trying to get to endgame. Then you need to have eight other friends that are just grinding and for the sake go. of going to do a mission. Yeah, like that's forget that. Yeah, that's the exact it's reason I stopped. Yeah, forget it. Maybe in two years we'll revisit it. We'll see. Yeah. It, it's happened with lesser games, so it's true. Yeah. I stopped because <clears throat> I played it alone. Yeah, I, I mean, if you would, if you would, totally viable way to play it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you would, if you would launch Steam, you'd have some friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. No, dude. I wasn't going to do it on that com old computer. Why? You I ran Red Dead. No, no, no. The, oh, the old, old computer. computer, old yeah, computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I was gonna do it on that one. All right. I'm just saying, you have a nice desk. You fit a keyboard. You could do it now. You got all right? kinds of space, dude. Lots of arm movement. You could, for your yeah, mouse. you could have your mouse at sensitivity You'd three. Be good, you could whip dude. that thing all over. But if I'm gonna buy Division to. two, why don't I just buy Destiny? I told you to buy Destiny before this started, but I'm not gonna get yeah. into it. My game, <laughs> my number four is going to be um, Octopath Traveler. Oh, Ooh. yeah, 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 yeah. For for Windows, Ooh. I didn't play it on the Switch. But... Right, I didn't even know it came out on Windows. Honestly, it came it's out. It, yeah. yeah, it's uh, somewhat recent for Windows. Um, that looked gorgeous, <clears throat> full screen. Oh, it's great. I mean, the art style is probably the number one reason why it's in my number four, um, because the story beats were not as great as some of our classic JRPGs. Um, but the reason why it's my number four is art style, soundtrack is incredible, um, and then. Uh, what they do for building your characters is is really cool. How you can mess around with builds and subclasses. What's the, um, what's the mechanic uh, of that? You just you you just have a lot of um, ability to tweak your character sets. You mm. know, normally when you sometimes when you play a JRPG, you just have like a warrior in your party and you sure. have a mage in your party, but you can really tweak your characters a little okay. bit more than you can in some of the traditional JRPGs. Um, so for me, it just, it really harkened back to some of my early gaming memories of playing like Chrono Trigger or some other like yeah. early Final Fantasies. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't expect to play it. It's actually something that I played more recently because it was on, uh, it wasn't a major discount, but it was in the Steam, one of the Steam sales. So I picked it up and, and played a decent amount of it. Um, now that's the one that lets you pick one of eight people, right? To start with, but the, all the stories converge, right? That's mm -hmm. like that's the whole premise of it. Yeah, and yeah. It, and the story is probably the weakest point. And I think okay. if you were to read some reviews, that's probably the biggest um, negative aspect of it that people don't feel like it was fleshed out completely, right? Uh, especially when you try and compare it against some of the great JRPGs, like Final Fantasy VI and Ooh, like right. those ones. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but overall, to to play a JRPG on you know on my on my gaming setup um 1440p nice full screen um nice and then sprites. And the, nice, look, nice looking sprites exactly yeah yeah <laughs> and and the soundtrack is incredible um i actually have it on my on my pc um and i and i play it from time to time so for me uh it it, it more is again same reason why i i said shadow keep is because of of what I feel when I play it and what it what sure. it harkens back that's, to. That's very valid. Um, is the nostalgia factor of it. Um, it probably wouldn't rank high if I'm ranking JRPGs as a whole, mm -hmm. um, but for 2019, for sure. And that game actually came out in 2019, so... Oh yeah. So well, wait, did it really on Switch come out this year? Well, for well for Windows it did. Oh, I mean, that's... I don't I don't know the release date on Switch. I'd have to I'd have to double yeah, check because that, that was a launch. 
It was no, no, not the, a dem- the demo, the demo was, the demo launch, was yeah. a launch. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so maybe it was twenty. If, I mean, maybe it was twenty eighteen. Your Windows yeah, release was out in twenty nineteen. It was. It did release in twenty nineteen for Windows. Does it That's count? Insanely valid. It has to. Okay. Yeah, of course that counts. Yeah. Okay, yes. all, right. all right, perfect. Not, we didn't have to fudge the numbers. <laughs> You're asking for a five. We're gonna have to fudge the numbers on number three. So, you know, that's fine. What do you got for four? Control. Ooh, Control. Okay. There it is. Down I was, to, wait, I was down waiting to four for the appearance. Down to four. I can't wait to hear three, uh, two, and one right, from this guy. Yeah. Uh, I've heard you do nothing but rave about Control. Yeah. And I love Control. Uh, it's a good game. Control was great. It deserved the Art Direction win at the at the Game Awards. Um, my The thing that drew me back a little bit was the hokey dialogue. It had hokey dialogue. It, do you it had, like hokey dialogue? I, I don't like it in a game where the expectation is that it's supposed to be as dramatic as a TV show I'm watching. Right. Because mm. it positions itself yeah. like it's as dramatic. It hires What a... if it's like a Twin Peaks, though? No, but it... No. It, that's not... Th- guess, this is accidental hokey vibes. dialogue. This is not intentional. It didn't seem intentional. Oh, it's not intentional. But they, I mean, hi- no, it they hired a, Wait, I'm confused. a known like, seasoned television actress to play the lead. And then they... they you know they have this amazing art direction. Very, it's a very cinematic game, to the point where when I was live streaming, I made a, a in my old build of my computer. Uh, I'll have to put it in again, but I had a cinema view, which was one of my. Um, I could switch, uh, you know, one of my scenes, and I switched. And cinema view had like literally the curtain at the bottom, <laughs> like it was. Oh a, wow! My, 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 I, it was like, like it was I, like a border around. Yeah, your, it was like I was watching with everybody the middle, and we were watching a movie. Yeah, yeah. Right, and, right, and right, I right, would right. I would just flip back and forth between it when I was playing. Very cool. Um, I got into that that cinema concept behind it. The disadvantages for me are it was the game was almost like trying to do Souls thing, but not fully didn't commit. Mm-hmm. Because in terms of the difficulty, no, in terms of like loading you back like a mile fucking before right, your so death. difficulty. No, well, it's it, no, there's I'm, a problem with the checkpoint system. The checkpoint system. Oh, yeah. okay. And the okay. map sucked ass. The map isn't great. <laughs> it lost points because of the fucking map. The map sucked ass. Was the, this exactly the map? Right? Yeah. The map well, and that's not great. So how's <laughs> so fucking bad? <laughs> I what fucking hated it. I agree. I agree with him, though. It's not. Gr- it's not because it was confusing. I didn't know where the fuck I was going because I couldn't tell yeah, what no floor I was depth. on. Yeah. And, like it, that map yeah. was fucking awful. Um, but good, other than good that, topography. Though. Like the the evolution of the skills that you unlock as you go through the game was was addictive. Like, yeah. You're like, oh, I unlocked that. And then when you got, like, the power to levitate, you were like, what the game fuck? Changer. I didn't even know levitation was in this shit. Mm, <laughs> you know? mm. uh, I fucking loved it. Uh, but, yeah, it's not going to get higher <laughs> you than You played that. it on what platform? Uh, I bought it for the P- PS4. Mm. Uh, and that's the other thing. Games. And, but, I, but I looked at yeah. footage of other people playing on PC, and I think it's just a part of the game. There was an awful lot of lag when the shit so got the, crazy. The, the PS4 well, version specifically, Digital Foundry knocked it for its performance. Issues. Yeah, but I watched the guy playing on PC who had the same issue. Yeah, but that could have been a P- that could have been their PC. Yeah, it could have been their PC. But, I mean, like you, you're dealing with a lot of physics in that game, and depending heavy on heavy physics, and depending yeah, on what heavy. like their settings were, like a lot of of builds would probably struggle with it. This, yeah. this game yeah. is one of the games that was designed specifically for <laughs> RTX cards. Right. Oh, because um, of the lighting. Because of the lighting and yeah, just yeah, the yeah. visuals and the physics and every, everything. Right, it, and right. it shows when you use an RTX machine. It is absolutely stunning. I'm sure. Just yeah. everything about the visual well, aesthetic of the game. This, this, this <laughs> is another yeah, game you should, should totally this. play. Yeah, you just totally 100%, play. 100%, dude. 100% recommend. And, you know, and she's got like a, she's got like a Scully vibe. She does. You know, like, yeah. I, I, you know, it takes me back to when I used to watch that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so it's a great game, like, uh, but like uh, you know, I have other games that go, that fell above it, but like the, it still was still good, absolutely a standout, better. still worth the purchase. Oh yeah, hundred percent worth worth it for anyone, nice. anyone listening right now. Check it out. Cool. I'm gonna take a look. Felix seal of approval. Boom. Yeah. What four. was uh, diamonds number four? Oh, oh yeah, diamonds oh, yeah. number four. Sorry, I don't want to forget. Um, that was oh, you shit, did. I remember. Oh, shit, I lost it. I did Locks, forget. Locks on it. <laughs> uh, sea of Solitude, which I've never heard of. <laughs> Sea of Solitude. Oh, thank you. I just never heard of it. She did. Okay, I've seen a little bit of this game. This is a game where you, where you're, you're a woman oh, sailing through a let's, sunken city. Let's get this fucking. That's all I remember of the game. I'm sorry. Did you did you say the Sea of Solitude? Sea of Solitude. Um, Diamond Jab. Whoa, number, a pour. Diamond Jab. Jesus. Let's have a little bit of a pour. <clears throat> number four. Let's see if, let's see if we can make it to the Give end of this. Taste. I don't. I honestly, I don't know what Sea of Solitude is. I wish I could. I it's wish an indie title. Mm. Um, Diamond, I, if you want to type in the chat, that would be good. He might be. Uh, he sh- might be live. Yeah, he might be live now. That. 
Um, that's okay. I don't know much about it, unfortunately. Channel, I just know what I just the taste. It's I fine. just know what I've seen from the trailer. audio product. There you go. Um, the wheels are coming off. Can I move on to my number three? <laughs> please do. Are we good? Please We're do. Good. Yes, please. Do. All right. So my number three <laughs> is a special game called Resident Evil Two. Wow. Yeah. I was I was mm -hmm. I was having a feeling that was going to be on your list. It yeah. absolutely deserves to be on this list. Yeah. Mm. Um, it struggled to fit between the two and the three position. Oh, okay. So this yeah. is like a tie almost. This I is this is. We'll come back. But to something it. about we're not going to jump ahead. But no. something about two edged it out and it did. Gave and it that spot. and I'll explain it when I get to it. Cool. Mm. Um, so I mean, me. the remake of two is fantastic. The remake is so freaking good because it took everything. Uh, Two back on PS1. It was a game I used to speed run, mm -hmm. not like like a pro or anything, but like sure. I used to play it over and over so much. I'd be like, let's see if I can beat it in like two hours. Yeah, right. Like that's sure. what I used to do. Like yeah, I used yeah, to I'm be like, you. I can just like crush this. It's definitely part of the experience of the original because you you begin to learn. There's only one way a zombie is going to come at you from like this screen, right, and then right, you just well, right. if and I just you, hold left, then I'm going to go. And you learn the levels, to this, and you do this, and you do this. And it's almost the, fun kind you of. You learn the puzzles, yeah. so like it becomes just like a like like Felix. You experienced this. I know when you were when you were when you got in the groove of this game, the old game works very similarly. Like you would okay, I know where the key is. I know where the doors I need to go are. I know what's in this door, so oh, yeah. I know where I need to go next. You get you have to minimize your steps. That's right? when I fucking got fun. But the game stands out for yeah. me alone on the atmosphere and the amount and the way they took this Beautiful. PS1 game and they're like, let's modernize it and mm. make it something new almost. Rebuilt the whole fucking Rebuilt thing. Rebuilt the whole thing. <laughs> you I'm talking to Felix right now. Yeah, you go had ahead. the flip of a century. I know. It was a huge with this flip. game. If you guys don't know this listening out yeah, there, Felix, yeah. when he played this game the first day or two, was pissed. He was tweeting. He was fucking yeah. raging on stream. About how this game is a dumpster fire. It's terrible. I can't fucking stand it. And he went on to platinum the game, play all four different uh, yeah. storylines, uh, just do every single thing possible in the game. Learn all the cheeses. Every single Everything. thing he he learned. The, the only this thing game. He fucking dove into it. The only thing I didn't do in it was uh, get the the crazy guns that you could get. The unlocks. If you did yeah. like the S plus like I'll tell you right now. I, I didn't do all that. Certain... I didn't do everything you did. I yeah. got the full four there, campaign playthrough experience. You could do an S plus playthrough right. that was under a certain amount of time and unlock like a grenade launcher. Yeah, but I yeah. didn't see the point because like after I get done an S plus run through of the whole fucking game, that's the fastest run through you'll do. Like why the fuck do you need the the the, the gun other than to shit about? Right. Just yeah. Exactly. Well, that's what it is. Like, you can go back in and just. So you think um, if this there was is, a, I'm sorry. Well, I was going to say if there was another game mode to use that gun in. That could give me an edge in that game mode. Right. I'd push for it, right. but there wasn't. Other than um, the tofu, tofu, tofu run, oh hunk run, yeah, yeah. I no which I didn't about. play those either. <laughs> the guns uh, don't even translate into it anyway. So but, you think for for this game, it's one of the few titles that that supersedes the the original. That it it, it passes. Think, that they did such a good job I of remaking it, and keeping the original vibe. It took it took what was great about the original game and almost brought it to the future and, mm. and brought it into the, in, into our current brains time of what, how games should feel. Right. right um, right. and it did it, it executed it perfectly on almost all, like all, all yeah, fronts. If somebody told me, uh, if I had never heard of this game and somebody said this new resident evil two game that just came out, um, I, I would go, I, I wouldn't have known that there was a prequel. You would have never, I known. wouldn't have known that it was a remake of a game. Gotcha. That came out yeah. years ago. Um, yeah, I mean, I watched. It's... I watched a lot of it. I I never. I didn't play it. It's worth um, it. But I watched a lot of it, and it, it, it looked amazing. It, the game excels in like sound design. Mm. In, in oh, a, sounds in, fantastic. In, in, in certain ways, where you'll hear. For, there's one of the enemies, Mr. X. You'll hear through walls. You'll hear him stomping around. Right. And you know he's a threat that's out there. So he's always looming in your mind. The game never makes you forget. It lets you forget about him. Um, and then he's always a threat that keeps you moving. So you're not really allowed to take your time in the game, but you can in some ways, like if you play right. your cards right. The game is designed so impeccably that you're constantly looking at your ammo, making sure you can either, can I dodge these zombies? Can I move around them? The game keeps you on your toes thinking about what you need to do next. Right. That's what in, was in a really great mm -hmm. way. That was what, what was really great about Outlast. I don't know if you guys ever played that horror game. I did play I that a little bit. I watched you of that. play Outlast. Outlast yeah. did that really well where you never felt like you could stay still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you like cuz there was always something whether it was a sound, movement, 
whatever, the game made you feel like you had to keep running, and it made everything feel so hectic yeah. from A to Z. Um, so it's interesting to hear that Resident Evil 2 did that because I played Resident Evil 2 back in the day, so that might be something that I pick up and put in the backlog I think to play. Yeah, I think should. you should. Yeah. Yeah. It's on PC. Right. It's, you can I would do it on PC. It. Yeah. Um, I would play it there. I, I chose PS4 because I wanted to sit on my couch and get that mm. dark room couch vibe sure, like yeah, I yeah. used to have back in the right, day playing right. it. Yeah. When um, I was playing the game when it came out, me and my friend Keith um, – we did a little, you know, launch night stream. Yeah, I watched you guys from the, uh, the living room. But it was great because, like, we just had the light of, like, the game. Yeah. And, like, one other mm. light on us, and it was a very, like, dark vibe. Yeah, you know, the yeah, lights yeah. in the in the room right. was very spooky. It fit. And That's so awesome. Lock, if you play a, on – oh, sorry. Oh, I was going to say, if you play on PC, there's a mod. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> the, yeah. the same mod yeah. that you can get for Mr. X uh, for his muse to replace his music with uh, X going to give it to you. That's mm. hilarious. So every time he starts showing up, that because there is a cool. very specific, it's, it's, uh, like it's all ominous sounding track to play. Just we'll like it you, you know, it's, it, yeah. it's supposed to be like you know, very ominous, very like right, right, right. industrial, yeah. like, like you know, you early nineties nails kind like, of like start just, the, the yeah. intro of the song, <laughs> and it just rolls in. But yeah, so good. you can replace it. Maybe I'll do it. You should do it. I mean, not to mention whatever engine they're using is absolutely fantastic. Oh right, right, it's gore. It's like it's really good looking. Because of that game, I pre-ordered three. Three, yeah, we're getting three, three this year, yeah. which is the biggest shock, I think, because they it's had fast. a fast. Yeah, I'm worried. That means I'm, they were already. I hope. On it. Yeah, they had different teams. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I just don't want them to uh, over Creed overload it. us. Yeah, overload oh, us with yeah. Final Fantasy. Yeah. Um, Resident Evil, but I got you. I want to. I want to be wanting. You know what I mean? I don't want to <laughs> yes. be like, okay, can we not Resident so, Evil right this past. year? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. I just said Final but Fantasy. No, he, it's okay. Did I say Final Fantasy? It's we, fine. We corrected you live on the show. We could have kept going without Felix calling it out. We all would have been okay. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. Fine. You're Thank welcome. All we right. took care of you in the moment. Uh, so what do you got, Trip? What's, what's yeah. your number three? Number three is Pokemon Sword. No, Shield. What? Shield. Shield? I got Shield. Wow. Shield was the red one. I'm sorry. Pokemon Shield. God I didn't even think this was number You've been playing that? We haven't been rating? Yeah. Can't believe you. Yeah. Can't believe you. Yeah. Wow. Okay, tell me why. Pokemon Shield was the first... Well, they've said it's the first Pokemon that's like a full 3D Pokemon, which it is in a sense. It's definitely the first one that's on uh, what you could consider a console mm. since it's a Nintendo Switch, right? <clears throat> right. Again, you know, console. Um, Heavy quotes. But it's the game, it's the Pokemon game that I played the most of since Red and Blue. Wow, okay. Damn. I had the most desire to play this game. Right. Um, I played Sun and Moon. I picked up Sun. When that came out, and that was like what, 2016, 17, something I have like that. No idea. Um, and I played that on the 3DS, and it was fun, but I stopped midway through. I just had no lasting desire to finish that game. Same with, uh, I think earlier that year, before to prepare, I like bought a used copy of like uh, I think like Black when Black and White came out. Mm -hmm. Played that on 3DS. Just no real, no real desire yeah. to finish it. So yeah. what I think they did in this game, what um, would have kept you in? What the, what they did was iterate on the Pokemon formula in a way to make it all feel engaging and fun and fresh. Mm. Um, one of the biggest ways they did that was by making all the Pokemon visible. Oh, like they do in 12. Yeah. Final Fantasy 12. Every you could see yeah, the mobs. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or Pokemon Go, if you play it on your phone. Mm, true. You, when you're running around, you literally see any Pokemon that you're going to attack or fight in the wild. And you can avoid them. You can avoid them, too. Yeah. Mm, that's There's like a sneaking mechanic in the grass, because uh, that's primarily where they are in the grass. They'll chase you sometimes if you're under level and they're over level. Like, they'll just find ways to try and fight, fight you. They're, uh, the thing that actually really got me the moment of this um, is a new area in the game called the, uh, the Wild Area. The I Wild think. Area. The Wild Area is a full 3D, like, you have control over the camera. In the wild area, which First you've never had control ever. over the camera in, in a Pokemon game. And it's a, it's a big, wide open, uh, for lack of a different term, wild area, where um, other players can interact in your world. And you can even do cooperative battles that they call raids. Mm. And I didn't know this ahead of time. It was funny because uh, our friend Abrupt from the Discord was watching my stream of this when I started playing the game. And uh, we were joking back and forth about, yeah, we got to get everyone in. We're going to do some Pokemon raids together. And not like 10 minutes later... I joined this one fight as they were introducing the mechanic, and it's me and f three other players fighting a massive, massive Pokemon. Mm. So in Pokemon, they've, they've only ever had you versus the Pokemon trainer, where you're inputting commands to your Pokemon, and then they're inputting commands to their Pokemon. Right. You guys have a one-on-one -on -one RPG-style battle. They introduced a 2v2 mechanic where you could have either two Pokemon or like you with a trainer friend in the story. 
and have a 2v2 battle. You just choose who you're attacking. Again, just like more RPG mechanics, but more uh, more complicated a little bit. This is the first time you could, you could cooperative pl cooperatively play against the Pokemon with friends mm. or strangers or whatever. Just four people attacking a massively powerful Pokemon. It's a mechanic they added called gi uh, Gigantamaxing or yeah. Dynamaxing or yeah. whatever. Uh, where they just the Pokemon become literally like the size of a house, so, and you yeah, have to and your gym battles actually include it too, where you can like gigantify your Pokemon. Um, and the cool thing is, everyone, every trainer in those fights gets a chance to catch that Pokemon. Too. Yeah, and you all, you all can just yeah, that's you cool. Can, you can catch this um, this overpowered Pokemon with the ability to, fact, to become the size. In fact, there's a bunch of rare Pokemon that show up in the Dynamax. Uh, I caught me a Gigantamax <laughs> Snorlax with a tree growing out of his tummy. Mm. And so when he when you Gigantamax him, that's what he becomes. Yeah. He's, it's, a, it's a special Dynamax form, as they yeah, call yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Um, so a, spe a special evolution of... Of mm -hmm. the Dynamaxing. Gotcha. Yeah, so that, really that got me into the world. Um, the game itself is still very, very linear and very Pokemon, where right. you have to just kind of follow their path. If you can't go to a city, they're going to say, oh, well, you have to find the gym leader, and they're hanging out in this cave. And they have to go to the cave and clear the cave out and just follow their kind of like RPG path. But they introduce things like the wild area. So once you have areas unlocked, you can just kind of bike all the way back to an older city. You can take a train to an older city, warp to another city. Um, the soundtrack is the most incredible soundtrack to a Pokemon game that I've heard, mm. hands down. Okay. Gym battle music, so hype. My favorite track is the clothing store track. Really? That thing slaps. Pull it up right now. <laughs> right now, dude. It, it right. slaps. It is so good. Um, and even like, dumb that. shit like that, like the dumb little like, oh, I'm going to save up money with my Meowth. Because I use his like a little money attack and get money after the battle. I'm going to take that and buy some dumb hoodies, and I'm going to make my character look the way I want him to look. Like, right. That kind of shit has never really been in Pokemon to the extent that it's been in this Pokemon. Mm. So whether I'm, um... yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. This right. song, this song slaps, dude. Um, but the gym battle music, though. Oh, it's great. It's so hype. People start, like, doing, like, a soccer chant for you, yeah, essentially, when you're, like, near the end of it. And, like, when you, like, knock out, like, one of the gym leader's Pokemon, like, they, they cheer. Like, it's, yeah. like, it's all cued to whatever your po whatever yeah. your actions are. When when you Dynamax, the crowd goes, ah, ah, Yeah, they're doing this, like, like, yeah, like you would like hear, cheer. Like, yeah. a, like, a European soccer match. People yeah. are doing, like, a very choreographed, like, it's, they're used to singing the song kind of thing. The hype, it's the hypest moments of the game for It me. is. And you've never, to me, ever experienced, like, the epicness of a gym battle. Because they don't put you in a stadium, really. Like, I know you're supposed to like accept and understand this. Oh, this is a big deal. But I'm like, I'm just, I'm just fighting. You just feel like an old guy in a room. Like, what am I? Yeah. Right, right, right. And this, they put you in the stadium. You can see the crowd. You get the crowd. environment. You feel they, the environment. You do the whole walk out of like the backstage process. Like, you literally feel like uh, they make you change into like a uniform to to do the gym fight. Yeah, like, I mean, you're wearing like a soccer you uniform. You feel kind. like uh, mm -hmm. low key like an esports player, which of okay. course hits. With all this generation, you know, right, some right. people that you play, some of the, um, the, uh, the, what's the word, like antagonists, not like gym leaders, but bad guys that you kind of like interact with, they have all their their followers to their stream, and like they're the ones that are attacking you out in the field, mm. and then you you have to run out, and you're the one on the screen, and it's like right. it just it hits in a generation that's used to watching people online and play sure, games. So there was sure. like this meta element that like brought me into the world uh, more than the other ones. Did you Pokemon? That's. Like as a kid, <laughs> yeah, Pokemon? I I stopped playing Pokemon after Silver and Gold. Those but are great I, games. So yeah. I I mostly played Red, Blue, and Yellow. Was when like that's, was when I was really that's into early it. days. Yes, yeah, Silver and yeah. Gold. I think I played what while I don't really have much memory of it. But then after that, I don't think was a Ruby and Sapphire. It's like was that those, on the those, S, that was on the those were advanced those were the advanced games on the advanced so I think Which I played I never, those I, I think I played those I didn't even get to no those. recollection yeah. I would have no idea how to differentiate the mm. two but right. the three besides maybe the certain Pokemon that's in it but yeah I mean I was super into the the when they first launched Red and Blue mm -hmm. like we would do sleepovers what year with was my that? friends oh, fuck I must have eight I think seven I eight something like that six. yeah I feel like six was too early it's it's in that general time frame yeah. late nineties for sure when do you turn the music down bump it up background. It's not gonna sound um, good in the, on the on yeah, the cool. first one here. I feel nice. happy about it. But yeah, so like, uh, good? no. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just it, it hooked me in a way that other ones didn't. I'm like, this is cool. It's a cool vibe to play. It's a no, cool vibe awesome. to play portably. And J Japan '96, uh, US '98. Oh, see, there you go. '98. There you go. Yeah. But yeah. It it just it surprised me at how well it was all put together. Nice. Hardcore um, fans have more of a problem with it, but yeah. I'm not a hardcore uh, fan. Neither mind. Right. Yeah. Right. I beat it. I beat it over my vacation. 
Nice. I still haven't oh, actually fully fun time. completed it. You know, if you want to do some wild area raids, dude, we'll, I got we'll, you, we'll me, trade. I, Iron Storm. Did you have, do you have Sword? I have Sword. Perfect. We'll um, trade. We'll, Vizzy, fill, we'll fill the collection. Vizzy has out. Shield. We've been, we've been playing. I've been playing with Vizzy. You've been playing with Vizzy. I've been playing with Vizzy. You see Vizzy. my message to Vizzy in the Discord saying that I missed him. I haven't yeah. played with him forever. Dude, he's been like, That's where he's, he's been. been like, he's been sliding he's been into my DMs he's been being he's like, been playing Pokemon. You stole Yo, Vizzy. you got that far fetched? And I'm like, yeah. Dude. I wow. can't believe you stole Vizzy. <laughs> yeah, stole Vizzy, if you're listening, I can't believe you. Neo stole Vizzy. That's crazy. It all comes together. That's fucking He helped me catch a ditto. It was great. It was real great. And scratching his back. Hell yeah. Who knew? Why not? All right. What do we have? Three? Three. Three. So my three did not come out in 2019. <laughs> this is okay. This is the one that didn't come out this year. This no, my my three my year, three though. and two did not come out in 2019. Okay. So I do okay. apologize. My number one Got did. It. I might my. But there is one year, that right? there is yes there is one that I would put in my top five and I know will probably be my number one but I have not put enough time into it to, mm. to actively mm -hmm. say it, so I'll talk about that when we get to our notables. Got it, got it. My number three is um, is Tyranny, which is... Is that a card game? No, it is not. It is an isometric RPG by Obsidian. Oh. Obsidian. So this came out in 2016, so it is old, so I do apologize for this. But yeah. Before you go into um, it, can, I know you have a lot probably to talk about. What, what made you, like, why that game this year? Why now? Um, I've been eyeing it for for over a year, and I never wanted to get into it, uh, mainly because I didn't think I was going to have the time to actively play it. But the reason why I want to talk about it, and because I think it was not something that was super popular yeah. in terms of like it wasn't mainstream, so that's why I wanted to bring it up, is this has probably one of the most unique story takes that I've played. And I think if you can get over isometric RPG, which I don't know if you could do that. Um, well, I played Diablo. Then you could play this. So the thing with is it tyranny action based, or is it more like Divinity Two Original Sin, like where it's like turn based kind of? Um, no, it's action based. Oh, it's it's, action? it's okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's made from it's it's made from the guys that did Pillars, right? So it, this okay. uh, it's made from Obsidian. So the interesting thing about this is you are a bad guy. There is no good story. Mm. You are not a good guy. Ooh. I really like that. Now, As you said, where, that where it gets interesting is right so essentially you are the. You are the person that um, is is the lawmaker, or uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? You are the law the of of a Sheriff, tyrant, yeah. right? Of someone that's going Judge around and essentially um, murdering and killing civilizations, right? And you are the person that goes and is the law, and you have the ability to either be merciless, mm -hmm. or you do have some flexibility where you could be. You could have a good path, let's say, yeah, but yeah. it's still like, I'll let you there go is no time. being the good guy, right? right? Like you can never be the hero in that sense. Um, so I, the other reason why I wanted to mention it is because I've I've struggled with isometric RPGs in the past. Like I've always, in theory, wanted to dive into them, but but struggled. And but for some reason, the gameplay of this really hooked me, and now has me. I don't know if you saw me in the Discord talking about pillars or divinity. I think I want to get yeah, into yeah. those and sink my teeth into those because of this game. I feel like um, it's to your point. The gameplay has to make all the difference because right. I've been down at like a, a um, Diablo path, and it's never hooked me the way people rave about the game. And I'm like, mm. I don't. I don't really get it. And then I know uh, Jesus Crow was talking about uh, Pillars of Eternity. <clears throat> uh, no, Path of Exile. I'm sorry. Path of Exile. And I'm yeah. watching Path of Exile um, video, and I'm like, I, I don't know if I would like this. I just like I don't. You just love. You would just need to love to loot, and just want to kill bosses. I sure like, love yeah. loot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh so boy. with this, like with this, there's no real looting. Like you, you progress, right? Yeah. But you're playing this for the story and Obsidian's take on the story specifically because it's made. I know, why, I know why I, um, this game was, looks familiar. Uh, Pillars of Eternity just came out on Switch, and I nearly bought it. And it's also now an Xbox Game Pass. Right. Ooh. So you could play it in Game Pass. You could play it in Game Pass. And um, for it. So for this, it was it's such a unique take on the story of, like, I am always the person that does the bad guy playthrough second, mm -hmm. because for some reason, I just, the first time I can't, I can't go down that path. Yeah, you don't want to be a dick to everyone. Like, I, I can't. No. Like, I'm not Felix who wants to kill everything. Right. right? Which is fine. I, I always, understand. I always want to do it first. You want to do it first, right? And I'm the oh, opposite. This is so interesting. I'm sorry. But, we're looking at gameplay here. Yeah, yeah. It has um, dialogue options yeah. that are just like Fallout, get Correct. locked off. 
when Correct. you don't have the certain skills and stuff. Right, okay. exactly. Mm-hmm. So it's that yeah. like deep kind of RPG. Oh, like, like, yeah, that's like deeper than, character than, choice. Than Diablo. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah character Diablo. choice and what that does to future quests, the world in general, like decisions you make play a very important role in the rest of the game. Very much like Mass Effect did. It has that Obsidian and... style. Exactly. Because like, Outer Worlds is like that too. Like the new, right. uh, the game that came out this year. Right, um, right. Um, so for this, if you are a fan of Obsidian, if you're a fan of character choice, and um, you can get over playing an isometric RPG, because I know it's not for everyone, I would highly recommend this. This is on sale quite often. Not even just Steam sales, but just will randomly go on sale. So if you put it on your wish list, uh, you'll get notified about it. It goes on sale often. I think full price is only 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, but you can normally catch like the gold edition with which all the DLCs for like 10 to 20. Um, so if you want to have something in, in your um, backlog, I would highly, highly recommend it um, just for character choice alone and and seeing the unique story that they they chose to tell. Yeah, um, it's pretty cool. It's but yeah, cool. it is 2016. So it is, it is older, but there are there's such a cult following for this game. There are people pushing for Tyranny 2 for them to make a sequel to this game. So we'll see if that happens. Um, no, they're owned by a Microsoft now. Who knows? <clears throat> Who knows? They right. could be being pushed does it toward a to AAA pillars? style game. True. You know. Does it connect to Pillars? It does not connect to Pillars. It's, it's, just it's a its own different thing. game. Than yeah. You. Yeah. 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 Because they um, never made this one for. Uh, this has not been made for consoles. I don't believe so. No. Uh, Pillar, but Pillars yeah, like you, you have before. scenes where you're at a public execution, right? And you need to decide how this public public execution is going to happen. It's how it's going to unfold. Um, and if you want to play the good guy, you have to find a way to, to pacify the crowd, but you still have to kill this person. You have no option. This person needs to die. Right. You don't get a choice around it. Um, but how are you going to pacify the crowd to still be able to to work inside of this town and uphold the law? Yeah. So it, it is really interesting. It's got amazing reviews as well. So I, w- I would highly recommend it. Um, but I think it is Windows only. I don't think it's on any other. It's on uh, Linux, and Linux and Mac. Mac. Okay. There you go. Cool. So it is. It is cool. computer based. It's a mouse and it's a mouse and. So it would technically be game. a CRPG, one of the few that still exist, right? Because oh. you can't play it on a. On, well, I guess you're right. You can't play it on any other platform, so it's not. It is technically still a classic CRPG. Like that, there, Disco Elysium. Mm-hmm. No, Disco Elysium, I thought could be played on consoles. Oh, I don't know. Oh, great, Kenneth. Is yeah. it? Is it on consoles? No idea. I had Google the impression it. that it was. Um, cool. Well, what, do you, a... what do you got? What is your what is your? Oh, you're three? right. It's on PS4 and Xbox. Uh... Yeah. My uh, number three. Okay, this is the game that is most ignored by the gaming community. This is what you were talking about before oh, the stream started. Yeah, because I I literally did a search for games of 2019. You would this, never guess it. And this came out July of 2019. I think I know what it is. Though. And this game was it, it. did not oh, even yeah, show yeah. up as a game that was released this year. It is produced or di- uh, distributed by a company that's that's. It's backed. It's either Nintendo or it's backed by Nintendo. It's so published. It's published, published by, by Nintendo. Nintendo yeah. Developed by a, a what different is company. This? It's uh, it's Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three: <laughs> oh. The Black Order. Yeah, which is here's Team the reason. Ninja made it. Team Ninja, yeah, mm-hmm. and they're like a Nintendo development. They're company. not. They're they not. Made, they're, they're, just, they're the guys behind Dead or Alive and yeah. Ninja Gaiden, yeah. and mm. they make that games, kind of games game. with ninjas. The fight. <laughs> so Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 was a real treat for me because I'm a super fan of, of not only Marvel Comics, but also uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And, you are. And what this game does really well is it bridges the gap between the two of them. Like, you have character models and character designs that are from comic books, uh, especially for the characters that haven't been released in MCU movies. Yeah. And then for the ones that were... Uh, in MCU movies, the designs and the and the and the, the things the characters say and their movements are very similar to the MCU. Like Captain America is very similar to Chris Evans' Captain America, mm. but the Scarlet Witch looks like the Scarlet Witch from the comics um, and plays like her from the gotcha. comics. Yeah. So I really enjoy the game because it has you know MCU characters. But then it also has a really, really awesome grind that is not monetized and just fun to play. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I switched it. So, Mr. Menti from the Fireside suggested, because I said how much I love this, that I play Future Fight, which is a mobile game. And they're, oh, they've, they've been playing that for a while. And they have accused, many people have accused 
um, Marvel of Alliance of having too much of a, a mobile look to it. You know, it's, really, it looks very mobile. It looks like me. a mobile, yeah. and there's okay. been people who have dis- dismissed it outright because it, it, they think it's just a mobile game. Is Future Fight a Marvel game? Future Fight is a Marvel game, and Marvel Ultimate Alliance is also a Marvel game. Right, sure. Um, but the, the difference is the monet- monetization. Like well, Future Fight, Fight, if it's a mobile game, it sounds like it's designed for that mobile monetization. Where yes, you download it very for free. Much. It's obscene. Like dump I, dollars I, into whatever. I, would, it's, I was suggested by Mr. And... Menti to go over and try it, and I lasted like three minutes mm. because I'm just like, it's they're not the same game. Like the right, one no. is not monetized. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a there's a currency that's built into the game, but that currency is something you earn as you play the game. And right. You just spend it in their like in-game store. Sure, it's not like you put your own money into it right. in any way. Um, but it has it has a main story, and you play it, and the, and the story likes to bridge into different uh, regions of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. At one point, mm-hmm. you're in Asgard. At one point, you're, you know, you're jumping through uh, the forests of Wakanda. You know, like... Yeah. And they, they take you... Really, that part of it, that storytelling, is them weaving in the elements that were most popular from the, the MCU movies. Um, and then they've come out with DLC, but the D- DLC is really just uh, game modes for grind mm-hmm. um, that incorporate the release of new characters. They just released, uh, literally a couple of days ago, they released The Rise of the Phoenix, which is four X-Men characters that came out. Um, and now I'm just working on the grind. To like build. And I've had a lot of fun. Like, I'll put on MCU, my MCU playlist, which is all the MCU Yeah, so I'll hear that while you're doing the grind. And I'll just, like, listen to that music instead of the in-game music. Um, I also get a lot of people on stream that like to watch me play it, who do enjoy it and play it on their own Switch. They join me. Um, it has a... a through the online community, they just released uh, Danger Room, which is uh, re- X Men reference. The Danger Room is the training room for the X Men, mm. um, and it's been taken over by the Phoenix or whatever. And the new Danger Room mode is four v four, you know, PvP. Yeah, and I I can play against other people. And the idea behind it is you're you're supposed to create the best team. I mean, but you can actually uh, auto uh, matchmake. So pretty cool. I've been auto matchmaking. And as you play that, you unlock different tiers, uh, you know, through this tier port point system. And some of the tiers have, you know, if I get to this tier, I unlock like special costumes. And they released like uh, old school like uh, X Men costumes, like the 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 like the brown the storm punk look. Right? Okay, yeah, there's yeah. a costume, and Old Man Logan is now a costume. So they're really, really good at bringing in like has them. a Spider-Man representation. Uh, Spider Spider-Man, you unlock the eventually you can unlock the symbiote. Uh, a suit, and then there's a couple other Spider-Man costumes. Uh, but there's four Spider people in this. It's uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen, um, Miles, Miles, and Venom. So mm-hmm. does this have a um, unlockable aspect to it, where you start with a set cast you can choose from, and then depending on what you do in the game, you can earn different characters to play through, or what's the mechanic uh, like that? No, you, you, the only characters that you have to earn la- Yeah, there are some characters you have to earn later, but all, when you play through the main story, you unlock characters. As you, as you, as you play, got it. Mm-hmm. Like so that, eventually you just get them all. Dead? No, uh, well, uh, if you put the work in. Mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, Thanos is something is a playable character. You can't get him unless you beat the, the biggest in, Infinity Rift, which is a grindy extra thing that you can do. Have you done that? I did it. I unlocked no, Thanos. Yeah, yeah. I unlocked, of course you did. Yeah. I unlocked no, Loki. Yeah. Platinum. I've unlocked every single <laughs> character that's been released so far. It's platinum the game. There is no platinum. It's Nintendo. Oh, it's Switch. Yeah, yeah. Mm, there's no mm, trophy system. Mm, yeah. But it's kind I, of a I, Switch I, miss a little bit. Why would there be? But it's like the 2019. Nintendo, it's not like it's existed for fucking eight dude, years. We'll n- have it in they're, five. Their internet. On Nintendo timeline. Their internet shit is all whack too. Like, well, come on. Yeah. Friend code. Friend they, code. Yeah. Still friend coding. They do. Yeah, they do. It's a, awful. Their, si- their store is even worse, too. Uh, so I had to bad. send a friend on Christmas a picture of my friend code so that they could input it into their console by looking and then typing. And yeah, it's shitty. So like, you forget me, how me bad it is until you actually Nintendo have account. to fucking do it. And you're like, what I don't, am I doing? I, mean, I think it, it is bad, it. but like Steam sucks, too. Yeah, I mean, if like, Steam is not really that great either. It's, have you ever joined John someone Harder. in Destiny? Like. No, because it never fucking works. You have to slash join their a, friend, a co- their, their seventy-five Steam code. digit yeah. number, which their is their Steam yeah, ID. That, exactly. that must be recent because it wasn't always like that. I could never find anyone by searching for them. 
Really? Ever. You know how I found people? By going to someone that I was friends with, like and you, and finding, and finding their friends. Their friends. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Um, because, like, I would search for anyone, and it would be miserable to try and find anybody. Yeah. Because, like, your your Steam name is not necessarily your display name. I don't fucking know which how to watch your ID. Because you can which, change you can There change is a friend code, too. You can, you can generate a friend code mm -hmm. in Steam. Sucks. It's not great. <clears throat> but it's free. So um, you can't really complain. <laughs> can't complain. Guess not. So what's Diamond's but, but three? What oh, I was you have say, more. I'm sorry. Well, the, the only thing I was going to say is I, I can't put this game higher than one and two because it doesn't have a story that engages me as much as the other two games. Right. But it, it, just, it kept you playing the right. game. I yeah. put it at the three because of how many hours I put in. Sure. That was similar and, logic and, with, and, uh, with Pokemon, and they which is a game that I enjoyed right. playing. Like, I play, enjoyed played. The loop. The loop there was... was I don't feel like they're w wasted hours, and the things they released later were r brought me back to it sure. like, multiple times throughout the year. It's a good so, thing. That's a good right? thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, it's not for everyone if you're not an Uber Marvel fan. Yeah, I would never right? play that game. Yeah, I will, I'll I'd never play, play it. I'd yeah. play but it. But I, I love that you love it. If it was on massive sale. Well, let That's me know. I when, would need to be free. it never goes on sale because be it's a Nintendo I game. Even. Yeah. You wouldn't hit You wouldn't hit accept when it was free. If it was like free for the month? No. You wouldn't accept just, just to have it. It doesn't seem. I just, bad. I'm, I'm, it's look, new decade, new me. I know I Got would it. never. So you're not going to waste. It. You're not going to even waste the. I would never. I, I enjoy. I, I would enjoyed never. everything I've seen in it, but <laughs> I just don't want to spend six. Or if I did it, I would never again go back in. So uh, I just know I would so, save the five minutes. New decade, of my new life. Me. Diamonds was Death Stranding. Oh, cool. Don't worry, we'll get to that. Yeah, we are going to talk I'm about. Sure, we will. We probably will. Cool. All right. So what is your what is your two or two? Yeah. So my two was Control. Control. Bum, 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 bum. Yes. Um, for all the same reasons that you said, Felix, um, I found the world and the story super engaging. I played it on PC. Okay. Uh, I didn't get stutters. Like my my 980 Ti did its job. It held oh, really? just Good. fine. Yeah. Did yeah. you play that 1080p or 1440? 1440. Ooh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. And I, that I, was that means I should be able to do it. Nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Pretty easily. Um, Love and that. The game is gorgeous. Everything about the aesthetic and style of that game is so cool. When you enter a new room in the oldest house, which is the setting, right? It it gives you these big topography of where you are, and it's just like very like on point of everything it does. Mm. It knows what it's. It knows you're in a weird place, and you're kind of you're kind of experiencing it through Jesse Faden's eyes, the main character, and she self narrates as you know. Um, I won't I won't talk too deep like much because we already just talked about control, but so I go with like a lot of things that I liked about it. Um, all the lore and deep stuff that you like come across. You're right. It's kind of hokey dialogue where she's like, "No, no, I like that. You, you like the yeah. shit you pick up and read. Yeah, oh, and the reading. Oh, top notch. So reading. much stuff. Love reading. Like, you love you'll, reading. Top love notch it. reading. Love it. You'll see. A Sit back in my love sack and read. You'll see. Okay, so <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you an example of some like crazy shit you you see here without really spoiling. I won't spoil anything. I'll just. I'm gonna. I wanna. Give you a little appetizer. Well, please uh, do. Just a little love sack. Please give me some more d'oeuvres. Some little d'oeuvres, you know. Love some little finger. Some little finger food. Um, Nibblers. You'll see a weird object in the game, and it's right. doing something weird. Right. And then you'll go, "What the hell is going on? What is happening with this thing?" And then you'll see a document that it's like talks the about it. Luck room. Yeah, or like, or like the refrigerator. You never played the luck room, though, didn't you? I don't think I did. What's the luck room? The room with all the luck yeah. items. The items that give you. Duh. Luck. Yeah. Oh no, I've seen it. I've come across it. Could've, Fucking, it's sure. called a luck room. Did you dude. solve the luck room puzzle? You could have never guessed I that. I don't remember. The thing it's with been a, a while now. <laughs> I don't. I don't think so. You get a I gold don't. suit. You it's open the it. door. It's no. full of luck items, dude. But like, but like, there's like, the luck but like, here's the thing though. <laughs> no, but he's not wrong though. Like, there's there are rooms where it's like a, a rabbit's foot will be like locked behind like a glass like glass. It's the room is literally called luck and probability. That's what it's called. Oh wait, I think I. I've you get into the luck and probability it. room. You look around. You were you, looking for the luck yeah. room. You see, yeah. You see, luck like, and probability is an entirely different, different room. room. You see, there, it's a big mansion. Yeah. Types of, of items that are in there. There's like a koi fish, which okay. is supposedly lucky in some culture. Sure. <laughs> Japanese. I can I can guess the. Yeah. I, <laughs> I can guess the a, culture. If <laughs> then there's a uh, there's a, uh, it has to be a shamrock that's growing in a pot. Cool. And then, Irish. and then, yeah. eventually, you walk <laughs> into the other room that's connected to the luck and probability. There's a roulette table. Let's play guess the culture. Oh, and it's, it's and then yeah. Th there's some kind of puzzle there. And you got to figure out culture. what. Oh, you I never do. did it. I never did it. And it's on the like whiteboard, like the answers so to the puzzle. That's a great example of like how like the world tries to lead you to like kind of poke around the world, uh, and just like try and figure things out. Um, 
I've heard that like someone was talking about this in the Discord about like an entire room mm -hmm. that was a puzzle, and I guess maybe that's not even that uncommon of a thing. Are there multiple like there lots of rooms lot that of are that. just entire puzzles? The the game the the world that you're in like re constantly is like reshaping itself, and mm -hmm. it's constantly like it's almost like the character of the setting is is uh, the setting is its own character, right? Mm -hmm. uh, more right. or less. Um, <clears throat> a cool a cool thing that happens is there's the mirror room. Yeah, yeah. A, which is a cool thing yeah. where you where you'll you'll like hear a recording and in in when you get to the room and it's uh, someone's being interviewed mm -hmm. right and they're talking like in gibberish they're like like blah blah blah, 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 blah. and like the woman is asking this guy questions and you see the mirror which is the set the focal point of the room and you touch it and you go into the mirror and you're in a literal mural world and you listen to that same recording and the guy who is being interviewed who went into the mirror world was is, it backwards it, he was speaking backwards, and now her audio was backwards. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The game, the game does all kinds of stuff like this, That's and it's cool. always That's unique cool. and it's always different. I gotta um, play this game. It's really cool. Yeah, you the, do. The game's. I, do. I'm not, I don't want to spoil anymore, but like the game goes places. It it does things. Um, <laughs> that's really fun. And like Felix was saying, the powers are really fun to play with. The combat. I found really kinetic and engaging. You're always yeah. constantly on the move. You're constantly throwing things. Like, you, like you'll you, later you find like a shield move where you like lift rocks in front of you, Do you to protect you. The yeah, gun was always coming to my stream. The gun going, morphs. Felix, you're doing it wrong. I, I, I was. I was you like you were backseating him. I was kind of backseating. Back See, but I'm, I have a question for you. You're just playing. I think because I feel like you were playing it like a cover shooter. I was. But I don't think the game wants you, you to were play right. it like a cover. No, shooter. No, you were totally right. Cool. So, so I must have caught you after he course corrected you. In terms of when I was, I was watching it well, well, no, it's not. It's not even that because what I was going to say was, to me, it seemed really easy. The combat, maybe it was the difficulty, but it seemed like you were such an overpowered character. Is, is there different there. combat levels in terms of difficulty for the game, or is it just a singular? I, I don't believe. remember there being difficulties. I don't remember either. No. But okay. it starts out like any other game where you're like things are kind of tough. Okay. And like your character gets stronger. <clears throat> you get mods for your gun. Your right. gun is you you don't get new guns, but the gun you have morphs. Uh, okay. So and it's like this living gun. It's like it's actually it like changes as you progress. It's actually That's part in the first trailer they show this that the gun yeah. just like it morphs thing around itself. It's made of like blocks or, barrel or something. Um, Dude, by and the end, my favorite's the rocket launcher one. That's the best morph. It's cr it's crazy. Um, um, and the gun is actually little important thing to in the your story. Hand turns into the fucking. It's like the cricket from Men in Black. Yeah, exactly. It's really cool. Um, the gun is actually important to the story because whoever possesses that gun actually becomes the director of the oldest house of the oh, setting. Okay. Um, so it's actually integral to the story. I don't want to go any further than that but yeah, the way you get it and like a very intriguing concept how the how like and like everyone everyone in the world like acknowledges you as the director because they see you have the gun like because you run into like agents who, are, who like run this mm, place gotcha and they're like oh you must be the new director welcome and your character narrates to herself ca in her head she's and like, she's like i'm not the director i don't know what i'm doing well, I, don't I don't know who i, I don't know about. who these people are and like they just trust oh, me cool. and they're mm. like well the, it's funny that the that, building that shows little, you the that building shows story you. hook yeah Gotcha. That's got to be the most interested out of all the things that were talked about. And that's why it's my number two, for uh, sure. Because right. it's a unique premise. It kept me engaged the whole time, and its gameplay was kinetic and fun. Definitely one of the most beautiful games I played this year. Easily. Just being in the setting of an office building, they took an office aesthetic. And it made it interesting. Made it really interesting and f just fun to look at. Wouldn't nice. think they'd do that, right? Cool. Good job, Randy. Trip number two. Number two. Resident Evil 2 remake. Oh, yeah, wow. that's my number two. Okay, my number two. Oh, and you, you, you pl I didn't even know you played it. Oh, I played it. Oh, yeah, he played it. Yeah, I didn't play it as deeply as you. Oh, I nowhere near as deeply as you. But when I was playing this game, I was like, "Holy shit!" Uh, the biggest thing that stuck in my mind, which you touched on, Neo, you know, specifically in uh, in you bringing it up as your uh, what was it, number three? I think. Yeah, or, yeah. You touched on the fact that they they brought this game to 2019. They had you feel like you were playing a Resident Evil game at its core and playing all the things you played in the original game, mm -hmm. but they played it and constructed it in a way that's competent and speaks a 2019 gameplay vocabulary. Everything about it was, was up to date, felt oh, fluid, yeah. felt incredible, felt dangerous, felt uh, like you know it just drew you in. You had to explore. You had to figure it out. Um 
the draw was there. Like, there was never, like, a, like, oh, this is annoying. I want to fucking look up where to go online. You had to, like, you had the desire. I had the desire, at least, to figure out where the thing was or to find it mm-hmm. myself to continue on with the story. Um, it just, it got me in a way that I didn't expect that game to get me. Mm. Not to mention it being gorgeous. Right. Um, the multiple levels of gameplay where you can pick who you want to play the story with, but then you also have the, the alternate story. version mm. of those characters and those stories. Mm. It just, it was a really, really, really great way to bring that game into a modern era. Claire B was my favorite. Claire B. Yeah, Claire B. That was my favorite playthrough. Remember that when you play it, Locke. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to. Cool. <laughs> no, but uh, I if remember. I talk about it again, I, he'll remind me. I played it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure well, he we will. played it in yeah. like February or March. Was that when, when I come out? It was February. It was February. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, Barely made it. Remember. It's just. I mean, like you know, puzzles, the zombies, the shooting. The it was just. It was fantastic. The stress. It's finally crashed. The challenge. Mm. It I was think so it was... so so well done. Like, it's just. It was just well tuned on it, all levels. Just one of the best made games that I played. I, they did year. an amazing job with a remaster. It you makes know, like me... I wouldn't even call it a remake. Like I think they remastered it. it well, I mean, they for... did remake. Yeah, but yeah. like Resident when, too, when but... we think about games that have been remade, they change the core of it. But they, they usually they, they usually make it feel. They did kind of do it's... that here. Yeah, but, here, but, here's, but, here's... It, but it har- but it harks back to it harkens back to the fir- the first original game so well. Well, they didn't they didn't drop the philosophy of the game. They kept they kept all the elements that make it good, but they still remade sure, the entirety I, of of course. I, yes, I know what it. you're getting at thematically, right, yeah. and right. the game fits under all the umbrellas, unlike any other remaster or remake really has done. This is the first right. game that's been like, let, let's Final Fantasy VII is gonna be the next one of those. I think we experience right because yeah. if you think but about something like something like that, you know, so Final Fantasy X remaster right. was just an upscaling graphics. They didn't Correct. change anything, Correct. right? Yeah. So Correct. that's one way of going at it. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm failing to think of like another remake where they completely change the game, where, where you lose some of the, the, the original aesthetic of the game and the feeling of the game. Shadow of the Colossus? Shadow's not a bad example because what made... Because sh- another, another studio made it, like yeah, remade and, it, And I think. it lost something when you bring it up to, to the I current I feel like version. you could apply that to, like, the 3DS releases of Final Fantasy 1, what for about, example. If we're what talking about, about Link's this, Awakening? Because that's play. a remake. They remade that game because it was just sprites on a Game Boy. Right. They recreated it. They created a new art style for it. Yeah, but that thematically, to me, is a remaster because they changed nothing about the game. But it's... See, this is a whole interesting discussion. Like yeah, we don't, we, need to get, we don't need to get into this. Yeah. I just, there, I, I can't, I'm not, uh, the thought's not fleshed out completely, but like, I feel like they did an incredible job without even playing it, just watching you guys playing, reading about it, watching Twitch, other Twitch streamers and Mixer streamers. I think like they did a, such an amazing job of bringing the game to 2019 and to Felix's point that if, if a gamer picks that up and plays it without any background, mm-hmm. They have no idea that this was a game that released on PS1. I'm sure there were kids right? that, that played yeah, it Yeah, they year. could just be like, oh, I must have fucking missed Resident if, Evil if, yeah. if last year. If their dad right, didn't right? tell them, if right. their parent didn't yeah. know. Which I think yeah. is not something yeah. that you could say for a lot of games. Yeah. 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 Cool. Well, number two. Number two. Um, number two is a very big cheat for Did me. Did you hear something? No, I was just checking because I didn't I don't hear myself. I hear you. We All hear, right, cool. We hear no, you fine. I'm good. I'm good. All right, don't, what are you looking at you me You got for? levels, dude. All right, now I'm good. You got then levels. Good, then. <clears throat> Number two is a big cheat for me, and I do apologize, but uh, the game technically hasn't hit 1.0 yet. All right. Um, <clears throat> but it is my number two for Good very pull. specific reasons, uh, and that's Escape from Tarkov. Hell yeah. That I would very much consider that um, a 2019 it technically release. It hit, hit in 2019. It hit really. alpha in 2016, technically. But it, uh, it didn't hit mainstream until 2019. It hit. It hit. Um, yeah. And the reason why the the main summary I'll choose for this um, is because I am not a Dark Souls fan. I can't play Dark Souls games. Like I, I, I lose interest. Words and I, I didn't struggle. expect to hear talking about Tarkov. Um, continue, but what Tarkov does extremely well is brings the Dark Souls mechanic and themes of being brutal to an FPS. And I think that's what is very unique to Tarkov, which is it's the most immersive shooter you could ever play in terms of realism, in terms of um, risk, reward. um, And 
quite honestly, for immersion. Uh, so that's why it's number number two for me. Um, the ability to go into a raid. So for for anyone that hasn't played Escape from Tarkov. Um, it's made by a Russian developer. You have to buy it specifically with its own launcher. It's PC only. It's uh, technically, I think, in beta now. I don't know if it's moved from alpha to beta, but you buy into beta. Um, and it goes on sale somewhat frequently. So uh, let but me know when it does. I bought it on sale. But next time, and I think okay. Channing bought it on sale as well. So, And Channing and I have yet to link up. But uh, if you want to get into it, that would be amazing, Neo, because I think you can do four person is the max raid. Um, so essentially what happens is you, um, you, there's a bunch of different raids or maps where you go in and es essentially your only goal is to go and get loot and survive and extract. Is there a time limit? Is there a kill amount? There's no kill amount. There's no time limit from what I'm aware, but I haven't, I've only really scratched the surface of this game. Uh, but essentially you go in and if you're playing on your main character, uh, anything that you bring in with you, when you die, you lose permanently. So mm -hmm. if I go in with a fully kitted gun that I've spent hours and hours and oh, hours different farming. different playthroughs. Correct. If I bring it in and Neo's in there and he kills me as an enemy AI because there's AI and then there's other players. And there's a whole other layer to this that I'll get into in a second. If you kill me and I haven't insured that gun, meaning I haven't put an insurance policy on my gun... <laughs> I lose it forever. It could be the best gun in the game. It is gone forever. Dude, I didn't know there was carryover. Oh, yeah. I thought this was like a Battle Royale. I'm really, every single time you would. No Battle would, Royale. It's I'm not really a glad you explained this. this. All right, so. I thought it was just a more is, intense you're, you're giving me like, PUBG. Right now. I thought it was a more intense PUBG. So there's a lot to this. Like, th this yeah. Is, yeah, so, um, so let's say you have, you have two abilities. You can go in as a PMC, which is a private military contractor. Where you can go in what's called a scav. Not yourself. Not right? yourself. Right? Yeah, yeah. A scav <laughs> is you go in and you load as a random AI. Yeah. You, random loot. Right? You'll either have a shotgun, an SMG, an AR, barely any armor. But you can go in and loot. And you can extract that loot and save it to your private military contractor character. So a lot of people do what's called scav runs. Because you go in and if you die, you're not losing any of your own stuff. Yeah. Uh, but you go in and you get loot. And then if you go in as your private military contractor, any loot you bring in, when you die, you lose, except for a few specifics. Um, depending on what tier you buy in the game, you have what's called um, – it's some type of container. It's usually a 4 by 4 container, and each item in the game takes up a certain amount of inventory space. So a can of Coke might be a one by one square. A rifle might take up a 3 by 2 square. Right, so it's it's all you have to manage that. And, you have to manage the inventory. Yeah. As you go, yeah. So anything you put inside of your secure container, if you die, you get back, but you can only fit so much. Right. Anything you insure, which costs money, if you die and a character does not loot you, you get back from your insurance. But if Neo kills me, I insured my gun. You loot me and you pick it up. It does not matter. Do I, do I get it. that gun? You get that gun. I have lost that gun forever. What? So there are like real consequences oh, very much for everything. So. This is like taking oh Battle Royale shit. to like the next level 100%. Of, of like serious Now, that's just like consequences. that's just like core game. That's just like core mechanics. Now, when you get into like what it is as a shooter. I have no idea. I'm mind blown. When right you now. get into – so this reloading. Is this is wild. Yeah. Reloading, you actually have to go into your inventory sometimes and put the ammo into your mag slot. To be able to reload. Because if you run out of ammo, you've run out of ammo. Like there's no right. like yeah, – yeah. you don't just magically take a fucking a mag out of your like pocket and put it fully, in. Fully you go into your inventory. You go into magazine, one of your pouches yeah. on your military vest. You take out the ammo. You put it in your clip slot, and then your, your character is able okay, to reload. This is a very armor thing. Yes, this right. is a very armor thing. Right. Yeah, because you have to like – when I played DayZ, I used to play that really hardcore. And that's a very high, high tense realism game. Not great, though. Yeah. Not great in various ways. But you have to, like, put bullets into clips before you can use them. You have to find um, that. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So you, ha and you have to, like, load the magazines, and then you can reload your gun. And you have to make sure the gun's in working order. You have to – a lot of management there. A lot of management there. Go, go ahead, uh, Locke. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, um, it's punishing. And it's the, – the, the struggle with it is is the meta in the game – is so difficult to learn because they tell you nothing. The game does not hold your hand. It doesn't teach you anything. Like, when you start the game, 
you have no idea how to play with no way of finding out besides trial and error or learning by watching. This is, so this I've is spent very intriguing. I've spent a lot of time watching Twitch streamers, which is why I bought it because Lupo's been doing Tarkov, Lupo's like, been playing like it a lot. Yeah. Um, but before him, there's a there's a small Twitch streamer breaking skulls that's that's been playing it for a long time that I love, um, and a few handful of other players. But uh, you, it gets very in depth with different levels of armor. The different bullets you can buy. So some bullets will affect armor in certain do ways. They do like hollow points and Correct. like they, they do like re- oh that's cool. Now like, you have a you have a vendor. So this is the next level. Yeah. You have a bunch of different vendors. You level up your vendors by doing certain missions. The medical vendor may want you to go find five med kits, and that levels up to level two. And level two gives you the ability to buy different medical items. When you have a those, military vendor which stay, has different armor. Do those do you lose those if you die? Or these you are like not. these are things you level in the background Correct. of your character, which is separate. Separate. Okay. Now cool. wait, we're going to get in, ask your question first before I get into my final point. Yeah, I was just going to clarify that when you say buy, I'm assuming you earn currency by playing the levels, and you can spend that stuff on a few different ways. You could sell it to said vendors. So okay. if I find a gun, mm-hmm. you can break down the gun very much so into modular components in a way that I've never seen a game do. Like you could break down an assault rifle into probably 25 different components. Oh, shit. Right, and then sell off components or sell the gun as a whole. This is different There's than your also, usual, like, just, like, your top, your, yeah, it's your way, stock, way your magazine. More. When you look at someone's AR and they, I like... I got 25 metal from breaking this gun down. Right, and they, they, they show you all the mod components. It gets granular, Holy like, shit, super granular. Dude. All right, how much is this or, game right now? <laughs> uh, I, think it's, I think it's 40 bucks <laughs> if you buy the base up. level, and I can explain off stream the base level if you want. I don't want to spend too much time right, on it. I'm not going to buy it right now. Um, I, I will... I'm going to look into this. But... Um, or there's a uh, black market fleet. Twenty five percent current discount. There's a um, it's a thirty three. That's the one I bought. And you could always upgrade your additions later. So if you wanted, so my choice was to buy the entry level. Yeah, see, to play the play game, it, and then you can always yeah. go in and buy the max is Edge of Darkness. Edge of Darkness gives you the full release of 1.0, all future DLCs, and then max vault space, which is really the biggest thing. Um, because when you see the gameplay, you'll understand why Max Vault Space is so important. But um, And there's also a flea market for currency, so you could sell to other players. And that's all inflation based off of like a Final Fantasy auction house. Right. Um, the other, Which is cool. It's cool to have like a player-influenced I always thought Destiny house. should have it. Right? Like I always thought that yeah. Destiny should have the ability to do it with random it, roles. It doesn't have like the... F- fall apart. I would spend easily two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, two hundred fifty <laughs> glim- two hundred fifty thousand oh glimmer on a god roll. This one was sell. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it would be so easy. Yeah. Anyway, the last thing for immersion is um, how you heal. Fucking wild, right? So different. You have painkillers. You have surgical kits. You have med kits. You have all of these. You have you have food and water because you could die of dehydration or starvation if you're in a raid long enough. If someone shoots you and destroys your arm, your arm has health. Both arms have health, your gut has health, your legs have health, your head has health. If you lose an arm, your aim is not as steady. If you lose a leg, you limp. <laughs> okay. Um, if, you, if, you get, if your gut dies, you start bleeding out. Right. So you need a surgical kit. The only way you could survive is with a surgical kit. It brings your your health back to like five, and then you could use adrenaline and painkillers to like heal There's yourself. There's a whole process you have to go through. Yeah, I don't for, even understand it yet. For each, for I don't each even of the understand stages it. of yeah, right? health recovery. So there got to a point where I went in, right, and I'm and I'm you know I killed a few AI. I, have, I don't think I've killed a, a player yet. I've killed a lot of AI, but the AI killed damaged me so badly, and I didn't have anything that like I was eating cheese slices and drinking water to try and survive, and eventually I just, just died. died. Yeah. I couldn't do anything, right? So if I'm on my it's private, crazy. if I'm on my PMC character, right? I think, and I, I think your your touch and trip is like I, I think I, I love. This. I know that the purpose of this of this podcast and this, this episode specifically this is game of the game let's of the talk year. Talk about game of the year. Get Where's our game of podcast up there. Right. But what I'm taking away from this night is that I want to play the fuck out of Escape from Tarkov. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm. That's what I'm taking. I'm telling you right this. now. I'm Channing would absolutely love it. We have not linked up and played yet. Um, just because of our schedules, but uh, we've each been playing it independently. I know Channing this as is a member of our Discord is. This is a game. This is a no, patience game. No, this is a patience yeah. game. Because, yeah, which is and then you have to extract, more. right? Yeah, so kind of. let's say we find all the best loot. We then need to get to an extraction point, which takes 30 seconds to a minute. Someone can come and kill us in that 30 seconds. Sure. I could lose like everything. Dark zone I could spend 35 yeah. minutes looting, get to the extraction point, 
and, and someone's like, and, Bing. and fuck boy could be sitting in a in a in a bush <laughs> and could snipe me and I could lose everything. This does remind me heavily of Daisy. I think early Daisy, where there was yeah. a lot of consequences, it's very much, yeah. but it's it's to the tenth degree. It seems like um, it's there's some of the water more finely crafted. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So sure. I would I would highly recommend you look into some streams. Uh, most streamers do a really good job of nice. explaining what's happening because a lot of them are learning as they go. Yeah. Um, I have I a love fifty. The learning. I have a fifty. I want to learn. I have right. a fifty-four page document that I posted in the Discord. It's not. Yes, I remember pinned, that. Yeah. Um, which is really good. If for you want to repost it, it, it and yeah, it, I could pin it that, yeah. uh, that I share with Channing. But I, it would be amazing for all of us to jump in it. You just you just need to know what you're getting into because yeah. if you if you think you're getting into a BR game, it's not that. Yeah. If you think you're going to get into something that's not brutal, well, not that. I mean, because you're going to die more. It's clear it's a, a, you're gonna a type of survival game. Correct. Wow. For the most part. Um, Correct. This this was a game that I craved PC in only. 2015. PC only, yeah. This is definitely a PC game. This is a game I craved <laughs> in 2015. I wanted these types of games. Right. And DayZ was like scratching that itch, but it was yeah. so much in alpha that Ooh, it was right. like almost frustrating to play. Yeah. This seems like it's a little bit more crafty. They've done a really yeah. good job. Like I think probably when a game first came out, like their earliest alphas, it was probably very similar. It yeah. had a lot of the same things, but it probably would have hit the same vibes that you're saying. And this is then you get into different maps, right? Because then certain maps have better loot, certain maps like cuz you have about maybe six different levels you can play. Um it, it's it and I, I haven't even listed all of the uh, immersive things that are in Damn, the game. Dude, that's so wild. Because um, I could probably spend way more time talking about it. Um, but I would uh, highly recommend anyone start watching some streams. Um, and then stick with it because, you know, you may just turn on a streamer that you watch and they just may be laying in a bush for 10 minutes. And just you, you waiting. Just need to, you just need to engage just, them. Yeah. Um, but it's – Like the it's, end. It is the most immersive yeah, shooter three. you can buy. So yeah. if you're looking for immersion – in an FPS uh, game, Damn. there is nothing else that like, you can And this is, this is by no means supposed to be like, you know, a strictly relative list in terms of like skill or depth or whatever the fuck. But I, <clears> my <throat> just general impression of Tarkov was like, you know, you're, you had your Battle Royale right. yep. experience level, right? Or depth level, we could call it. Yeah, right? but, then, but then you got to like your survivals. We're not even going to differentiate yeah. between Fortnite and PUBG in terms of like the different layers. No. We're going to call it like, you know, just the the battle royale experience mm -hmm. and i thought tarkov was that maybe double gotcha plus a little bit more just right more of something which i didn't know because what i have heard from everyone is how in depth it is right. where i was just like cool <clears throat> there's layers this is the next evolution yada yada dude yada. i should make a flow chart and of like what you're this describing game, this game what you're That'd describing crazy is not, to make one of those yeah it's not this it's like it's ones. it's the depth it's, level it's, is insane oh yeah i mean and it's not even a br in in any capacity because no. you have no idea how many players are left you have the fact that there's an the ai real player you. mix no is, you have no idea insane. um you could usually tell if it's an ai scav because they act a little wonky like they'll run up and then stand still Right? Oh, that's a shame. But they're super accurate. Like when they shoot you, like they're not, they're not, they're not chumps. That's right. Troopers. But in terms of their movement, like they're still figuring it out. Like I think they're the game's at like it doesn't, it's not behaving. The game's at like point AI, four yeah. in terms of release wow, structure, right? Dude. So there's still a long time to be till it's one point oh. Um, but there are a handful of other players in our Discord um, that are also playing it. So we could put a pretty good group of players together if you guys decide I to to jump in. I'm going to consider this. Um, you've you've but, sold this. Unintentionally, probably, but you've yeah. sold this. I did not intend very, to. very well. I mean, this does, this does tickle tickle me in ways. Yeah, it's I it's like, like and for me, it's always going to be if I could if I could put a, a shooter in in my top five in any capacity for a good reason, I'm going to do it because it's the games that I love the most. Sure. Um, so for this, it's it's very easy to 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 be. When you said two. that I can work on a gun and carry it from mission to mission and then to raid it. level, whatever. I mean, losing it sounds awful, but like that amount You're of You're emotionally attached to your gun. Sounds so meaningful. You get very yes, attached to, to guns to the games. Well, just yeah. like, yeah, like, dude. This like, is the, the gun that yeah. I've taken with me like, the, throughout all it's these something fights. Something so simple, but yeah. like the destiny kill count on your masterwork sure. gun. You know, I have different rolls of guns of the same gun, but I know which one is which. Well, obviously because of the roll and the perks, but like I like that because I know I can see how many. PVE enemies I've killed on one, or right. any PVP snipers I've I've killed on with my beloved, for example, for the sniper. Like you just know, and that amount of uh, of reminder is like a little attachment to the gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean like so, and you have a lot of different inventory management. Part of it is an inventory manager, um, 
because there's so many there's so many spots that you could store and save things and like there's random shit you'll pick up so it's i mean the, the game is is it, it has so many layers uh, but it is it is brutal like and that's the biggest thing that i can only say is that you have to be buying in for the realism mm -hmm. and the ability to know that you will die more than you will succeed but oh, okay, I'll, I'll spend 25 okay minutes yeah. to feel like I'm in the woods, actually in the woods trying to survive, yeah. to only mm -hmm. die. Like, I'll spend that 25 minutes and feel what, completely okay feel with it. Feel the what, adrenaline. What, exactly. Yeah. What you're describing yeah. exactly. is reminding me of um, – have you guys ever played paintball? Yeah. Like, actually play paintball. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, okay. Do you remember, like, obviously we play video games before paintball. I loved it. But right. do you remember the first time oh, yeah. you were in the woods – with a gun, and you were in like, oh my god, if I get hit, I'm gonna get hit, and I'm yeah. done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that kind of like adrenaline right. rush, and then you get your first pick, and you're like, oh my god, this is fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. You're describing a similar vibe to that. Oh, 100 percent virtually. It takes the adrenaline that I still get from PUBG, because PUBG is still the only. Like I play other BRs, and I'm yeah. gonna, and I'm gonna talk about another one in a second. Yeah, but it's still the only um, game that's still rushes my adrenaline and sure this the very minimal amount that i've i've scratched the surface in playing it you're does like, it in, you're like, in, oh, o yeah. in other ways completely wow, to a to nuts. another degree so this is a development um, i did not see coming tonight at all well i appreciate both of your enthusiasm it's very i do cool i do and i'm I would sure very much like to you yeah, selling dog check in this yeah i think i needed you to hear you say this because you were talking about it in the discord and i was like uh sure i don't know like i'm not ready for another game right now like right but it sounds cool I will watch some streams of this. Yeah, please do. If you if you do stream, because I noticed you've been popping on a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll plug it at the end, what I'm trying to do with, with my content. Cool. But, but yeah. if you don't mind doing a little bit of this, just I so I can to. watch you play it. Yeah, I would love to. I would like to watch Absolutely. that. Yeah. Absolutely. Sorry, I talked for a long time you did. on that. I'm it's sorry. Fine. I'm it's, sorry. It, We're down to our number care. one. It happens. Well, he's well, got he's number got two. two, and then we'll loop that. I didn't even the... do two. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Do sorry, two. I thought we were at. Go ahead. What do you got for two? It's Death Stranding. Death, Death Stranding, Stranding is dead. Okay. Nice, dude. That's yeah, number two. Nice. I can be real simple on it. I mean, it, it's a game that I'm impressed by because, as I see it, Hideo Kojima sat in a bar and somebody <laughs> said to him, Hey, I bet you can't make a game where somebody enjoys postal work. <laughs> and he said, Fuck you. I'll take that bet. <laughs> and he did. I, I swear to God, I enjoy postal work. Yeah. Post-apocalyptic postal work, baby. It's amazing. And it really is. Like, going through all the steps that it takes. And, and it's funny watching the streamers. It's hilarious to me watching the fucking streamers that don't get it. Yeah. Because they didn't put enough time into it. Which, can I say, was you when right. I first started watching this. Right. My first day ever. But I didn't hate the game for minute one. No, you're doing it your It wasn't like with Resident thing. Evil. Right, right. No, you definitely hated more on Resident Evil from a day one perspective. But I remember, like, I popped into your stream first. Yeah. yeah. I had watched nobody uh, post-release. I had read no reviews. And I was like, I'm going to watch Felix play this game. And you, were, you couldn't figure out at that point how to, like, get to the right point. It was like the first time they had you build a post box. And you couldn't oh, figure out how to, like, mark it uh, or, I was or, pissed about it. or, yeah, I was or trace pissed. your path. And oh, you were man. so angry. Of course he was pissed about it. And I was, so and I was like, well, I was like, I bet if you read everything. No, or just in the end the with guy. that shit, yo, in the end with that shit, it was simple as just walk in a direction. Yeah, I mean, I did it the first uh, time I, figured I was it playing. Like, <laughs> so he I did it first time. Exactly. Yeah. No, uh, but, uh, I've, uh, you know, like, the sound design was outstanding. Um and the the music was outstanding. The, the story, the only reason I can't put it in number one is because I didn't complete it. Mm. I didn't play it all the way through. Sure. It would be my game of the year if I knew the end. Maybe. I don't know. You don't know. Might not be, might not be my game of the year. It, it, I don't think I know anything about this video game. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, all I've seen people do is carry shit around a map, and that's all I know. Yeah, but, but that, yeah, that, 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 that loop. Is that the both is best part. No, I and know is nothing to do with it. It is and it isn't. It, and you can't explain it. It's better than that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but I'm sure I'll hear more about it soon. I'm sure because we're getting around around one. No one else has fucking mentioned it. So lock, <laughs> context fucking clues. What game are we talking about? Lock, lock it's 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 IP that literally um, could fit in a film 
like a really awesome film. Sure. Or a TV <clears throat> show that intrigues the you. The only reason why I bring it up is because I, I really know nothing about the game because the trailers didn't tell you anything about the game. Nope. And then when I've watched a few yep. streams, which is not yep. a... Nope, but yeah. Sure. Yes, yeah, but, but no. That's yeah. why I said it that yes, way. Yeah. No. That's why I said it that <laughs> way. Yes, yes, when you are playing the game, the trailers start to probably make sense. But so, no, but, yes. Yeah, so you'll explain it. Hold on. So the the only gameplay that I've gotten to see is random spurts because I haven't watched a lot, but it's always what seems to be the same portion of the fucking map. I feel like I'm always looking at the same section of the map, and it's always I'm fucking, gonna, it's always Norman Reedus. I'm gonna touch with, on that with actually. with <sighs> fucking eight stories of I, boxes on his back, honestly, and that's on a, all I've seen on a grassy, rocky, I, cloudy. I think with the okay. same background. I don't even can fucking we, get it. Can we I open this I up a bit? Well, go to. Are you done? No, well, I, here's the thing. Well, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> what's what's done? No, no, no. Well, we, well, we can. Well, we don't want to cut you off. We're not going to cut you off. I think You're we. Not I think we can off. transition this into our number ones. Are they both of your number ones? You're starting round one. I have a feeling <laughs> at this point. <laughs> you, can you say, say the it's, words? It's my yours. number one. It's my game of the year. It's my game of the year. It's your, there we go. Here's the thing. Now, let's talk about this. Can I just say one right? thing? Can let's I, do it. Let's can I say all three one thing? of us can just I say, have a conversation. Can I say one thing before we dive into Diamonds this? Diamonds was Devil May Cry 5. Well, two. his four? Or his two. two. I'm sorry. His two. Devil May Cry. Oh, got it. I've heard him and uh, uh, Andy talk a lot about that it. That game got snubbed real hard in Game Awards. Uh, from what um, I yeah. I just want to say one thing before we dive into this. Go ahead. I hate that it's my game of the year. Bet you do. I hate that. Fucking bet you I do. I hate that it's my game of the year. But if I'm being objective about myself as much as I possibly can, it, it, it's good. Uh, it's what it's. I can't stop playing or thinking about what I'm doing in the game right now. And I think I, 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 I YouTuber hate it. I fucking hate it, YouTuber I Super it. Bunny Hop described this. He made me realize what I loved about the act of playing as a delivery person. I wasn't he, – he described it by look his eye line. When he plays other third-person games, he's looking out at the distance, and he's just going, okay, where am I going? What am I looking at? Right? Like, where, where am I moving to next? Sure. But with Death Stranding, the game requires you to look actively at where you're walking, how you're traversing the environment that you're going across, what you need to do to get there, and how can I use the environment – to my advantage. Yeah. Your eye line changes from the distance to okay, here's a little some rocks are, are showing up here. I, I have some some hills I need to climb up of. I have to be careful here because I'm carrying a ton of weight right now. I have to make sure I'm balanced correctly. I have to make sure my packages are good. If I fall I break the shit and then can't I can't do that. Yeah. That's very important. You can't yeah. you can't break the also, packages. You can't do that. And also um, the uh, I fucking the, don't get the it. Time falls. <laughs> time, time falls a very important thing time to falls consider. An issue too. I'm gonna give you my perspective and I hope the I rain. hope that it, but, I hope, but it's but it's also wait it's also the, more than that. Sorry, let me just touch power. on like two more things no, and then I'll no I'll take as much it. time as you want. Touch it. I'm just we, I'm still have, saying that we, I'm lost. That's all. We have to talk about. We do have to why talk. this game. We have to talk about this. I'm sorry, I don't want to get too loud. I'm great. so sorry. Blowing it up. We have to talk about great this. Great and, and terrible Spike, too. That's me. We have to talk about this. Live live production meeting. We got to get compressors on this shit for 2020. What? 2020 compressor. I'm you're sorry. The compressor. This get, this no, this is not the. Rec you're, you're not the hearing compressor. the recording. Uh, but all right. Still, it's, the point stands. We're gonna. So okay. come on. On top of on top of all these things that you do yourself to get across the environment. Right. Um. The game also encourages you this social <laughs> system. I know. Okay. You just rolled. You rolled your eyes a little I, bit. No, I was not rolling my eyes. Oh, okay. It wasn't. Seriously. But it's a social system that while the game tells you constantly how lonely it is and shows you how lonely the world is it encourages you to form connections across the world and the way it does that is through a dark souls like system where it you see someone else's ladder that they put sorry you see someone's rope that they put that you can use and it makes you feel a little less lonely because you know someone else out there is traversing the same harsh environment that you are mm. and it, it actually it's it speaks always like a, this like crazy subtle level that you go oh someone built a bridge here because they had to cross this terrain and they needed to also overcome these challenges mm. and you're constantly being shown that oh if I put a bridge here or a ladder here and I get likes I know somebody else took advantage of that ladder you can literally and you go your touchpad wow. as you cross something and and you're matching the person that you match that like button likes i can't handle that there's a like no, yeah, I, there's I, a I like got any likes there's a like <laughs> <laughs> no, no one liked my shit I, I ended i think i ended my playthrough with like 300k 
Yeah, that's great. Yeah. I'm glad well, you got like, fucking likes. Well, here's what I did. I put like, shit in some really strategic just, locations. Just, well, and people okay. fucked me. <laughs> shit. Well, I'm sorry. No, but you, know, but you know what's funny? Because you can actually look as you as you can see other people's um, thing. Because you don't originally. You have to like mm-hmm. you have to tie things into what they call this network, right? Okay. To be able to see other players' stuff. So it's a you natural progression of skill. Yeah. Like you have to get through there on your own. But then once you're once sure, you make I that connection, you. then you're right, like, right. oh <laughs> damn, I'm on my way back. This guy put a bridge here. That's dope. This guy put a ladder. Why the fuck this guy put a ladder here? I'm not going to give you any fucking likes, you idiot. And I'm going to go up this guy's other rope. Like, the rope makes a lot more sense. I, you I, can I, see. In who's... my defense, I did get likes on a piss spot. There you go. You can piss somewhere as the so character. So, what happens when and you it piss grows on a, places? It grows a mushroom. And the, they have and cryo, then... cryobites. Cryobiles? I don't remember. They're little bugs that you eat that restore your blood. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It's just the, I don't know it's just the mechanic. About, I feel you, like I'm just hearing random facts. Yeah, you, about are. This. you are. You are. Definitely are. You are. If you, For sure. Goes, we, we, this, guy, this guy goes, we, we know. You could piss somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's bugs you eat. You're bugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I did. I pissed, I, you, you're, I you're hitting, you're hitting on an interesting point that I didn't know existed, yeah. which is the social aspect. Right. No, I had no idea that there was a social network to it, which is very interesting. And it's, and it's like a huge part of the game. Like, not, and I, don't mean, I, I want you to finish everything you want to say. Sure. I'm, what I want to do when I get to, to my point is take you on my, like, my journey. journey of why, what, what turned it for me. Mm. Good, good. Are you saying that you didn't always feel this? No, way at first, like, what the fuck am I doing? Mm. Yeah, right. And like the game, like it's it, of course it's like that. Like, yeah. But here's here's the thing. Last year, I took a bunch of predictions and notes mm-hmm. from all these trailers that we got. I remember you. I remember you adding to this and master list here, as this every is, this new is trailer. My, my death training list from June of last year, mm. and this is these are all the predictions. Seventy percent of them, pretty correct. Good. Pretty good. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. you Thank it. you. We'll go over this on a different episode, probably, maybe. I mean, I mean you guys should – honestly, it sounds like you guys really need to unpack. We'll, we'll do this think, after we do our, our – I think you should finish the game. And well, we have we'll, to do a, a Metal Gear episode before this. but No, we'll do – well, this will be fresher. Listen, we'll get Andy. We'll get Andy. Because Andy loves it. Andy loves it. And he we'll get we'll get a like we'll do like a Discord show. Okay, okay? we'll do an offshoot show cool. on Death Training. So we don't And he's talking about getting here. all this internet equipment, yeah. so we could probably get in touch with him easier. I think we should try. But pretty much Death Stranding has such a crazy like like story aside, because the story isn't the strongest, but I don't, I don't give a shit about the story. It, it's not. It's not it's nothing crazy, but Perfectly there honest. is a bond that you do form with BB. Uh, how far are you in the story? Sure. How I, far are you? Um, Which I happened? just met What'd Mads Mikkelsen. The the battle. Okay. Okay. World War One. Yeah. World War One. All right. Get there. Yeah. All right. No, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you didn't get there. He's too um, busy finding piss spots. <laughs> I am. Yeah. I put a mushroom there. No, I get real like preoccupied it. with postal delivery. Man. So that was the first moment where I was like, okay, he's doing a little bit of a Metal Gear boss fight situation. I was here, delivering which shit. it kind of kind of felt reminiscent to that for mm-hmm. me. Um, yeah, you're at a good point in this game. I'm because, excited. Because it actually, funny enough, you probably put 30 hours into it already. More. Pro- okay, makes sense. I've been building highways. Cool. Yeah, all right. That's, see, that's, that's a moment of the game where it becomes, I know, this is. Did you build a highway? No. No, you didn't. I don't think you Is got to good, this area. Dude. Did you play the game? <laughs> Did you play? I played it for a week. I played for one if week. If you build the highways, you they get will all. Come. You get all. They the will come. You get all the likes. Likes. If you're yeah, the one that finishes like that highway, people love the fuck. Well, I'm not gonna be one now because I fucking never <laughs> played the game in weeks. Start a new file. Right? Start. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. I, I think. I think. Timefall degrades items and and things. I don't think it degrades roads. It but not the highways. But. That area, when you get to that area yeah. and you start building roads, you feel the flow of the game. And the game actually <laughs> – Well, the game. <laughs> the game. Uh, <laughs> it, it, you, you go, yeah, I'm a good delivery driver. I can be the best delivery man ever. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are talking about a game about the United States Postal Service. I fucking can't. I can't I t- even I handle oh – I told you. It was a bet. I can't handle – It was a bet that he so won. What, okay. That the U.S. Which, government made a game through <laughs> – yeah. To, to try and move away no, from his day was sitting in a bar and, okay. and somebody was and there was a mailman them. there that had a bad day yeah, and he's is... like I bet you you can't make a job about my worst day he said bro yeah. no one likes this shit <laughs> and he did I, and he he's said like, bro I like wild, this shit dude. I could make a game about your job 
Yeah. <laughs> it's and and and, and the what? stupid part is is that it's it's fun and engaging because of how they present you with the need to connect the world and delivering is I don't I don't let, know man. Let me let me go ahead. Let please. me dive in here and talk about my experience with this game. Go ahead. Uh, do, because do I it. thought a lot about this. Um, again, first when I when I started playing this game, um, I wasn't going to play it this year. I had no oh, okay. I had no plans to even pick it up. I'm so glad you changed your mind. I'm sitting. Well, I'm I'm scrolling. I don't even know why I went in here. I think I was bored one night, and I was like, let me just scroll, let me look, look look at the PSN. Um, it was on sale. It had a, it was like a a winter PSN sale for hmm. oh thirty percent or whatever the fuck. And I was like, oh well, I duh, I should it's just time. scoop this and play it's it. Time. Yeah, so absolutely. I'm like, fine, whatever, I'll hop in. And I started playing it, and I'm like. All right, this is kind of exactly what I've heard about the game. About the game, I'm watching a movie for the first two and a half hours. Yep. You know, they give me something to deliver, and yep, yep. I go, like, I don't watch the rocks. Don't trip on the fucking rocks. I'm like, mm. this okay. This is uh. Be careful. With this those is rocks. great. You know, this is this is fine. And I'm playing it, and I'm like, okay, cool. The right, thanks, the boy. gameplay is Kojima level gameplay, where like Systems. everything is is hyper, uh, hyper analytical about the most mundane things, but to a degree mm. you don't experience in another game. Like, gotcha. The you you can scan the terrain and see like how likely you are to trip on something you don't don't walk over that because you know you're new you know you'll get sure. off balance if you didn't pack your shit right and then i got to a place yeah, the, and the trigger buttons are like your balance yeah. like your left and right like balance. everything felt intuitive and kind of natural and i'm like all right the cool so i get it and i'm like this is all that i've seen in these trailers right this is all that i've seen in this area uh the video of the game this like rocky slightly mountainous cloudy game cool did the thing story again they're hitting me with very kojima uh elements and and i haven't finished it um yeah just you... just putting it out there in the world we're gonna come back but, to this but story. i've seen a lot of you know the main antagonist i've seen a lot of your interactions with the other people in the game and i'm like this is kojima unleashed and i don't really vibe with what's going on in the story okay the story primarily isn't really getting it to me and it, that could change that could change, right? But I think maybe, maybe. I think in in this game you really see where Kojima excels, which is gameplay mm -hmm. and systems and environments and interactions, and where his his storytelling was always engaging to a certain extent. But I think we're seeing a shortcoming in that because he can now do whatever he wants. Mm. So I wasn't really engaged at, at, in the in the story because I was all we had was the story. <clears throat> And this little bit of like delivering right, loop. Right, right. What kept me going though was whenever you would go to a, like a new place, they make you go to like there's like three major spots in the first area. Um, you would go through this this really really treacherous area. You start to to see these ghosts appear, what they call the BTS in the game, and you have to like avoid getting caught by them. Beach you know? things. Beach things. Yes. I'm not going to go. That's no, not that short. We're not going to go, we're not gonna go down that road at all. Because please it's, don't worry it's, about that. It's, it's, please yeah. don't. They're ghosts. They can kill you if they touch you. So you don't uh, want them to touch you. Makes sense. But, but you not can just see, that. It doesn't. You get sense. sucked into like boss we're, fights. We're, yeah, I know. But we're just like, going like to sucked into boss fights. We're going to. We're going to. Sorry, wait. Before I'm sorry, I'm going to take a segue. I'm trying. I'm trying to. What they do is they'll drag you to areas where you fight giant whales. Trying to hone in. Doesn't matter. On the go ahead. Trying to be as concise as possible. Continue. Um. So this game makes no sense. There's these things I, that, it's amazing. that you have to avoid. And I'm like, okay, cool. That was a little more rewarding. And then, right. like, you're walking and they play this music. Kojima has the score that he's chosen. Of course, of course. And it, it, he's it, labored over this score for it, hours. You walk and it starts to play this music. And <laughs> it gives you music. It gives you it the yeah. artist and the title right of on the course screen. It does. Just and, like fucking Metal Gear and, Solid 5, um, where every, where you know he made every fucking level. Directed and, by, right. written I did, by. You know, yeah. I did this one mission where I walked up a mountain, and I came over to the other side of the mountain. There was like... Oh, the music hit when you hit the top 30 of the mountain, minutes of fucking ghosts, and then like my packages were degrading, because like Neo said, the rain degrades your packages, and I had to, in the moment, spray them to save them, but if you spray them in the rain, it's not as effective as being out of the rain. And th there was one about to fucking grab me, and I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. I got to the top of the hill and the music hit and I'm like, that's this is nice. Yeah, you see your destination still over the horizon. It's like it's like right there. You're like still didn't hit, right? Didn't but I'm but you. I'm playing and I'm playing and I'm playing. It hit me, I man. get down real to uh, uh, Port Knot City. Yeah. And then I finally see Troy Baker's character. Yeah. Like, I'm at oh, him. that's cool. I like what he's doing with his voice and his character and his dialogue and it's a little more compelling. Um, and there was there was an, a boss fight suddenly. 
Yeah. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know the game had like Fights. this level of combat. I'm like, okay, cool. This is getting cooler. And then uh, you go to a different area, uh, which ends up being a massive area. And I don't even know if there's any more to the game. And if there's not, I'm actually fine with it because it's it's insane. Oh, you don't. And know I that. go, no, I don't. And he I doesn't get, know. I get this other area, and then I learn I that there's. I'm, I'm not spoiling anything. I'm not spoiling anything. And, and, been and then all of a sudden, in this new area, there's there's f- deserts, forests, snow, mountains, uh, different than the trailer terrain. And every single time that you kind of upgrade uh, an outpost. You meet outposts, you bring them into the network, and they give you things, give you abilities. Uh, they do. I, I hopped <laughs> into do. a... That's uh, true. There's a, All of it. There's people that just, like, attack you to steal your packages because they love delivering for some... I don't, whatever. They're, they're obsessed with collecting parcels. Uh, so but I, I, I beat up a bunch of them because then all of a sudden I learned, oh, if I have this little, like, tie rope... I can choke someone out with it. You That's learned that cool. after Port Knot City, dude. I learned that forty hours into my gameplay. So I didn't I was know using I that had from that. minute one. Didn't but no, so I went, I was there, I went in their packages at people. I went in their camp. I stole their truck. No joke. And all of a sudden, I'm driving a truck around this area, and I'm like, "Yo, this shit is lit." And then I figure out, "Oh my god, I can build this road." Now I have a road with a truck. He's yeah. And I'm 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 Neo, I'm, you're I'm giving you the, the I'm giving you the play by play, but. <laughs> What I started to realize, and what I started to like understand as I'm playing this, is like, I have never played a game. I know this is going to be a, a very weighty statement, but I don't think I've ever played a game where your your upgrades, your next unlocks, your rewards for what you've done in the game, have felt as weighty mm. as they felt in this game. Okay, I'm vibing really hard with you right now. Like when I've earned something new in this game, I'm like, fuck yeah! Not only do do I feel better about going back to other things with this with this upgrade? I can tackle new things in a different way sure. that I didn't know that I could do. Mm. And it's that core gameplay that's gotten me. And every single time that I think I'm done, I'm like, I've broken the game. I built highways. I have motorcycles. I have trucks. Like, what else could they improve on? Or, what, or, or how did you, challenging? Did you get the uh, exoskeleton yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I was like, oh, well, they're not going to have me kill anybody because in the story, if you kill people, it's bad because of the ghost situation, right? You I was sure like, well, they I crater. Know. They crater out. I was like, <laughs> it's explained. Neo, it's Neo, explained. Neo, there's a level you don't have to go in. <laughs> you're right. You're right. No, you're totally right. Just saying. I've, so they give you guns that aren't really, they don't kill, right? They just, I'm like, oh, this is cute. This is fine. Right, gotcha. Then they give you guns to kill. Like every single time I think I'm, I'm at the end of a there's progression. There's something else. There's something else. There's yeah. more. And the weight of that progression has never hit for me. In a game, mm. the way that every new weight of a progression or upgrade hits for me in this game. Did you get the floaty carts yet? Yes. Okay. Look, can yes. I ask you a question? All right. Cool. You can always ask me a question. When Felix. you watch, uh, you watch TV shows. I think I do. You, yeah. Do you watch TV? I, he does. Okay. I think mm-hmm. you were one of the people that, uh, in my history, that has uttered this phrase. Have you ever watched a TV show and said, "If it takes me more than this amount of episodes to get into it," correct. I'm not, I'm I'm disinterested. <clears throat> yes. I will not watch your show. Yes. Okay. This is that could apply. That could apply, this to, could this. apply this, to this game. This no, no, no. It, it, I no, thought it, of, it's not. It could. It definitely does. I will it never play this game. Yeah. I yeah. thought one hundred percent. I, I thought when I was playing the game, I thought of you because I thought this is a game where that rule applies. You're like just there's, just there's watch a, the first s- season. No, just the, watch but, the first. It gets better. The loops in this for what you enjoy about games, you wouldn't. I th- no, there's Enjoy certain aspects this. of it that you're describing that I sa- that sound very rewarding. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Well, I, I if, think there's yeah. a f- there's a few things though. I don't think I would ever get that far. I had to play about 35 to 40 hours to get to a point where you meet officially in the game. Uh, spoilers: If you're listening and you don't want to get spoiled, skip ahead five minutes. You uh, meet Mads Mikkelsen's character in the actual game. You see him in flashbacks a lot, but you actually gotcha. meet him. And you're in a like a World War One flashback, and this is where you get real guns all of a sudden. And oh, okay. Not only is it a mechanic where you have to shoot the real guns, but because there's this ghost element, you're using your own blood. As so you have to you ammo. have to you have to balance like your blood supply, refilling that, tactically hiding, attacking, like using a shotgun versus an AR versus a handgun. And I was like, none of none of this fucking shit was anywhere in this game, and all of a sudden they throw you deeply into it, into, like, literal trenches while you're pinging to try and find people's locations. Oh, yeah. And fighting these, like, these these ghost soldiers. And I'm like, 
I don't I ne I don't get it, but I like every I don't get it. every turn. Every turn of the corner, I'm like I have to learn something and I love it because not only am I learning it for this moment, but I can take it back and apply it to everything else that I'm doing. And, and that, makes it, that, that makes it incredibly is, rewarding, is but insane. but like it is with someone with a brand a newborn baby. Sure. Right? Uh, the people who are who are out there in game industry insiding, yeah. you know, like like the the guys who have to report on games and things like that, were given this nasty reviews because they literally didn't have the time because of their job. They're, they're oh, it makes like, sense to like yeah, no, play it, it well, to learn to get. No, to the I mean, point I, I, there's multiple game. factors to that. They were they had a deadline, right? As in their they job, so they had to yeah. complete it. They gave out early review copies of the game because Kojima knew that his game relied heavily on his social system, right? Mm -hmm. It relies heavily on the ability to go, oh, my God, there's someone out here with me with the ladder, right? And yeah, yeah, they put yeah. it out there. Mm -hmm. So they needed as I, many – I, I, I mean, it's cool to have, but it's it doesn't – But it's like – it is a part of the experience. Well, it's, I, I don't really feel that compelled about getting likes. I feel that it's cool to see – It's not about the likes. It's about – well, improving no, your navigation around the world is cool. I, I feel like his intention is to make you – feel like you're alone but not alone at the same time and i, I feel like that is a heavy part of what the because every character in the game tells you that you're the only one that can do this you're you're the, right. you're the, that's, you're the, the part, that's the part that right. i'm like and then but then a, stop talking to me can i just build things right and shoot exactly because like the gameplay itself is fun but then when i'm but then it's when funny you're, I but you're in the world and you go but story. i'm not alone i'm i'm i have the help of all these people these i'm I'm on this They're journey with other everywhere. people. They're pit, there's mushrooms all over I the place. Was. And it's true. They, they're really, <laughs> they really are peeing. I peed yeah. and marked yeah. in every town. And I would go back and look at my likes. <laughs> but it's but it's just like Dark Souls, though. But, it, but like people yeah. leave messages going, oh, a person like a experienced this, and now yeah. they're helping me Dude, with this secret. Dude, label it. Right? Like, oh, yeah, that's, sure, where, sure. that's where like the comparison comes in, because you can put, like, Dark a label Souls does with that. that. I don't get it. Yeah. yeah it's I fucking don't get weird. It. There are things that you're describing about this game that I would absolutely love. There is for sure, and it has no, there's there's no knock here, but it's just not a game that I could ever play. And I don't. No. This is not a game I would recommend to everybody. You no, I think I think it's something that you should recommend, I'd recommend to every it. to every gamer. Every sure. gamer should probably play it, but there are different circumstances. Because I, what I would have done a long time ago in your just, description. Just turn it off. Because I would have turned it off <laughs> and I would have went and played Modern Warfare with Diamond Jab or I would have played Comp with somebody sure, else. For sure. But which, which, is, which is not, it's not a knock on the game yeah, in yeah. any capacity. Sure. But to sure, your sure. point, which I think you make a very valid point about a lot of video games that I've tried to play, Witcher 3 being one of them, because how many times have I fought definitely the fucking this, Griffin? This is I definitely fought the Griffin in the same camp. five fucking times. Yeah, the yeah. Griffin <laughs> encounter is fantastic. In the I've Witcher. beaten it Dude, many times. The Griffin that was the only part of the game. Is is literally area one of Death Stranding. Right. Sure. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, it's, right, like, it's like that initial area that you're in. It takes, it takes yeah. something significant in a non-FPS, and it's okay that I'm the fucking guy that obsesses over FPS. It takes a lot of out of the FPS genre to keep me somewhere to keep me engaged to the point where I don't just go back and play something where I could shoot people in the face. And that is why very basic I, I definitely think it doesn't have the impact that it does on a lot of these reviewers. Sure. Um, and Kojima made comments after the game came out that was like, I just don't think America, he said, he literally said something like, I don't think Americans are really going to get it. And they're really, they just like, they like shooting but things. You know what? It, it's, it's, I don't know, man. I have so There's many. There's something to this game. I have so many, and I'm so happy it exists. Right? Like, yeah, it, it's yeah. it's something very unique that mm. we don't really get from everybody. I still have so many conflicting feelings about it, but I can't deny. It's still number. You're gonna one. unpack it it's, in the full episode. I know, I know, and I, and I was. Thank you, Locke. I was actually just gonna try don't and transition it. us don't away. Don't do it. We're, we should summer. have a full. We should have. You should finish should. the game. There's a lot of feelings that I have about it. I feel like we're seeing the best and the worst <laughs> a lot right of now. Feelings I have about it. And I don't mean to worst diminish. Of I, no. I don't mean to diminish. The, no, 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 the, no. And, and you, you don't fair. come across that that you do because, like I just said with Felix, we're talking about Marvel Alliance. Sure. I was like, I just know it will never you be. A game for I would you. never sure. play this game. Yeah, 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 I'm with you. But and like and I've said it, and I want it to be on the record. I hate. That this is my number one. Sure. But I, if I'm being objective, I can't deny that, it's, that it's pulled me yeah. at every corner that I was about to give up on it, and it's yanked me around. And I'm like, I, it just, I'm here. Story. I, it's funny because I was at first I was like, well, I'm gonna play it for the story. Now I'm like, I don't give a shit about the story. Like it just, it's rotated itself around me. 
You know, like it's but found was like there. story gameplay was like stories <clears throat> all we have here because gameplay is me walking across a grassy field mm, sure. with a box. But it's still now engaging. I flipped around. Now I'm like it's still now I'm like engaging. now I want to do all the things that I can do in the game. I don't give a fuck about the story. Mm. So we'll see where, where I go, go with it. But like I I can't deny that cool. it's it's pulled me the most out of any game this year. So that's that's sick. Why it's my number all right, one. Cool. All right, well, go ahead. I'm gonna be much faster. <laughs> Uh, so one B, one B, and it's I'm only saying this because I know it will be my number one, but I have not played enough. One B is um, yeah, and then I'll get into my game of the year. My one B because I'm I don't think we're gonna have time for honorable mentions, so I'm, I just no. want to get this out because I really want to talk about <laughs> this. We're, yeah. we're not briefly. No. Is a Plague's Tale Innocence is my one oh, B. Oh shit! Wow. Um, I've only just started it, but. It is incredible with the only minimal amount of hours that I've played into it for a few different reasons. Uh, I had that favorite on, on every console that I own. Oh, I saw that you were you had a favorite for did Steam. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Um, and I didn't know about this game until I saw it on a Steam sale, and then I saw it after I had already bought it on the Steam Awards, and then it won Best Narrative for the Steam yeah, Awards. Yeah, yeah. Um, visually, the game is absolutely incredible. You have, like, Detroit Unhuman realism which is incredible mm -hmm. um it's a stealth based game which is the f my favorite way to play one of my favorite games of all time uh last of us is stealth um, because you really can't you really don't have many abilities or powers to fight things um and it's narrative driven mm -hmm. um and that's the only thing that can keep me in a game uh, outside of fps is a strong narrative driven sure. game and yeah, this yeah. and this has me so i can't speak much to it because i've only played i think two hours into the game and it's probably a 20 hour game uh that will most likely surpass the next game but i haven't played enough of it so i just wanted to drop that in there because i'm looking forward to playing that more my game of the year is apex legends apex mm, legends wow <laughs> apex legends um for wow. a few different reasons um one because i love the shit out of respawn and I think Respawn deserves all the accolades that they can get out of this gaming year. They had a good year. Um, this they had year. a great year, and they've had they've had gr they've had a great many years, but they're in the forefront this year, and it's well deserved. Well, they launched the fuck out of Apex. First of all. <clears throat> they did. Uh, it came out of nowhere. It's free, which is great. Yeah. For for no barrier to entry. Easy entry. Um, and it is some of the best mechanics you can get in a shooter outside of the realism aspect. Movement, abilities, different uh, guns, the way they've evolved the world between Season 1 and Season, season 2 uh, in comparison to, to Fortnite. Um, it's just a fantastic shooter. It's a fantastic BR. Um, I, won't, I won't rant more because everyone really knows about it. But yeah. um, I think, uh, for me, the movement of the game is the fluidity of your character's movement is, is what sets it apart from other FPS titles that, that currently sure. exist. It also uh, includes that Overwatch aspect of it being a class-based yeah. game as well. Fair point. Yeah, yeah I didn't mention um, that, but um, so you have a very unique uh, setting where you pick your character, which has correct. specific abilities. You have yeah, I mean, you based, have you have sliding. You have this amazing mm -hmm. movement. I remember, I remember oh, like sliding is day, the fucking day best, one. Yeah. People were like, "Oh my god, all the sliding!" The movement yeah. was so good. All shooters yeah. need and sliding now. Yeah, Borderlands it, it, Three adding it, huge game. So, game. funny enough, uh, Puck, Puck, one of my dear friends, Puck. I have to say, one never of, heard one of him. One of my dear friends. Um, he gifted me Modern Warfare because he's he's, oh. he's one of the finest gentlemen to ever to ever walk wow. this earth. What a guy! Um, and and uh, to get to the point, he's he's gonna, I, he's gonna appreciate the call outs. I feel like sometimes he doesn't he doesn't know. appreciate it. He always. doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't get it. He doesn't. He doesn't get it. I wanted to make sure that so I gave him he, you the need proper to put this that he that he in is in my heart. Stone. Correct. Uh, gonna, I tried to gonna, I tried to slide in Modern Warfare because he bought it for me. Love Modern Warfare. Um, <clears throat> tried to slide. I feel like a potato sack when I'm sliding in Modern Warfare. <laughs> it just doesn't work. It well. doesn't hit the same. It's way. not Destiny. It's not. It's not uh, Apex Legends. It just doesn't feel right. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just more realistic. Whatever. Sure, yeah, but yeah. Uh, Apex Legends. I, I I would love to see what Respawn does with it. I'm a huge fan of them as as a developer. Um, so for that, it is. It's my number one. Felix, what do you got, buddy? Uh, that's. Uh, I like their other game from this year. Is that your number one? No. 
No. Oh. The Star what's Wars his, game? What's though? his number one? Star Wars no. game. Was pretty I don't, it, if it's not anything we talked about, it's not Jedi Order. What's your number one? Is it Fallout 76? Fallout 76. God, God damn it. it. Shut it's up, not, not, of a lot. bitch. Oh, it's so, not. You oh, 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 God. Oh, my was, God. It's not even from. Oh, my God. Hey, assholes, that's not even from this year. I was about to. I did games that weren't from this year. You could have easily pulled it out of You could have. Wow. We, we I do have to put that. a compressor was, on this. I gotta, that was I gotta, really loud. I got to give you an, That was a fantastic moment. <laughs> it's a good you moment. That was it's incredible. a good moment. It was not Fallout 76. Uh, it was definitely Resident Evil 2. Oh, oh wow. snap. Hands that, wow. that makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Yeah, because uh, right. it was incredibly satisfying to learn I was wrong. <laughs> like, like, like overcoming that hump of yeah, being yeah, like, yeah. this is frustrating. Yeah, I didn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like, yeah, but then it like clicked. Like, because I you, got into you, Felix. It dude, clicked. It really clicked because I went full ham into that fucking game, dude. You really did. I was making a ham yeah. meal, ham dinner. Ham I dinner. can't wait to ham see steak. Felix when three comes Spiral out. I'm cut. doing it. I'm Honey doing ham. the same thing. I, I, no, no, I, I feel luck, like with I got three, you're just gonna be like. I got to the point with Resident Evil Two remake where I. Like started watching speedrunners of it and said, "I could do this. I could do this." That's how yeah, you I know. Was, I was hyping him in. up. Like the last time we really chatted about gaming, I was hyping you Were up. Were you into in getting there S for any of runs. my run throughs? Yeah, and I was yeah. telling you that you could do S plus. It's, it's S plus, right? Yeah, yeah. That S plus. Yeah. Is the S plus. Yeah. And you were like, "Nah, yeah. I can't fucking do it." And I was like, "No, you got this." Man. But I ended up by the end of that this. run, I ended up doing S plus hardcore runs. This like, fucking guy. He's, like, he's a RE pro. It's From a guy who's like, I'm not oh, fuck this game. Who would have thought? Huh? I didn't. Who would have me? The, not <laughs> me. I didn't not do. Me. I didn't do them in the fastest time. So sure, maybe I didn't get. Running. Maybe I didn't get S plus. I got S. Because sure. S plus, I would have done it in that like. If you don't, it's, it's, of time. if you don't get involved in the SGA forums in 2020 with either <laughs> Resident, Evil. Resident Evil two or three, I'm gonna be what disappointed. Are you doing? And, and they added get a run in. They the, added the a little extra quick. content that I'd never completed. The Ghost Survivor stuff I never did. Um, you got time add, to, They you, added extra trophies that and a part that bridges to uh, before three, three comes out. Why yeah. don't you boot up Resident Evil Two again and be yeah. like, let's yeah. let's let's get these trophies to run up to it. Let's do a run through. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm definitely going to because that that comes out in what two months. Oh three. my God! It's really, it's really, it's really soon. Two, yeah. Oh, it's that soon? They, yeah, yeah, man. They, they, they announced fucking, it like a they, like a month that ago. Scare, that scares Hit me. It scares me, it. and it's a scary game. So I'm definitely playing three, and yet. Well, I'm gonna get you. A role. I love that movies. you sunk your teeth into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was great. It's awesome. Too. April third, it's coming out. I do have taste. So there's, a few, there's a few months. Yeah, there's a few months. Uh, I was uh, gonna like say the, gun, the, the game's got to be done at this point. It's done. It's done. <laughs> well, yeah. Can I just done. read it's Diamonds thing, please? Yeah, go ahead. Read Diamonds. Right. Yeah, what's Diamonds? Just, okay, uh, he says 2019 will will be the year of transcendent games and disappointing efforts from companies both big and small. And his favorite game of all time from this year is Control. Mm. Cool. Uh, and he says, oh, yeah. Control's narrative storytelling is the best among the selection of games with gameplay that makes advancements on the constantly replicated third-person shooter genre. Its characters are properly motivated and make decisions based on their own individual development and not what the story generally requires. It does struggle in that it's uh, comfortable not answering some of the biggest questions mm -hmm. and saving them for the prototypical DLC experience. I agree with that. Um, but, um, but that comfort doesn't deter from the experience the base game offers. Most games in the psychological thr thriller genre are too mind-fucky to enjoy playing and too generically scary to bother thinking too hard. Control and the rest of my selections sit in comfort, comfortable gray areas, living their vulnerability and succeeding. No matter how strong you get, there's always another puzzle or obstacle that requires a bit of thought to get around, uh, more so than a Nathan Drake adventure with less shooting uh, than your average FPS game. Control is all about nuance, and in a year where extremes dominated our games, uh, Devil May Cry combat, Death Stranding exploration, and extremes that disappointed their portions of their fan bases, Anthem, Expectations, mm -hmm. Black Ops 4, Battle Royales, MK11 with microtransactions, Kingdom Hearts 3, development time, and the Division 2 convoluted roadmaps. Uh, nuance held value for me in 2019. It's, it's not just about doing more. It's exceeding the value and, and valuing those that did it with less. Mm. Really well said. Yep. Yeah. Good mm. work, man. You're cool. way more well-spoken than we've been. Maybe, yeah, maybe thanks, it was, Diamond. Maybe it was the uh, I think it was the bourbon. Yeah. Maybe it was the Jim <laughs> Beam. Yeah. We were, we were yeah. drinking, bud. There's, um, the, there, there beach, there's a beach in the game, and there's <laughs> ghosts that come from you the No, you could mark You're your pee. You're carrying a baby. And then when you pee, it makes a mushroom. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then there's a ghost, but it brings you to a whale. They're Game of the year. They're Baby called, in a jar. <laughs> they're called beach things. They're called beach um, things. All right, we're going to close out soon, I'm assuming, right? Yes. We're in. We're rather, yeah. I hope you all enjoy. I hope anyone listening wait, wait, enjoyed this. What if we did this. Round the Horn real quick? Uh, just not even Shout any outs. explanation. Uh, I'm, I was number just gonna, six. I was literally just going to say that. Yeah. Bro, I was literally going to say that. All right, are you ready for this? This is number six. Here, here, I'm just gonna give my top three shoutouts of oh, games God. I love. Oh, I'm just gonna name them. I'm just gonna I name know. them. I know. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Sure. Respawn made a great game. Um, Monster Hunter World. Mm. Hell yes, that game came out last year, but yes, great game. Got it. I'm 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 playing it again right now, guys. Just want to let you know that. Well, Iceborne just came out on PC, so that's kind of relevant. I yes. Well, it's 2020, whatever. Yes. Um, my six was Link's Awakening remake. Hmm. It's really good. It's good, but it's I was good. like, I'm. Eh, it didn't really. Didn't, yeah. It didn't. I'm it, playing it. it, it I'm also it did, playing it. Didn't. It, didn't. it didn't. It didn't. It did, but it didn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't have one. God, Felix, God you got a shout out? <laughs> no. Uh, you, you had a, a one and a one B, so you could shift one of those at some right. point. Right. Would have been. Yeah. You're yeah. right. You just uh, just Star there. Wars, uh, Jedi Fallen Order, and MK11. I thought those were really good games. I really enjoyed it. I Hell yeah. I didn't give a shit about nice. the microtransactions in MK11. Got it. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Guys, this was uh, this was fucking this is a great beefing. episode. Ep- well, I mean, it made sense because we had a long dry spell, as we know from Kevin Oates, typing on every social platform that we have access to, cast. cast. He just keeps cast. He was very us. thirsty cast. for the cast. Do so, the cast. Um, Do the cast. We, 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 we did it. We delivered, we it. I think. We talked about all the games that we enjoyed this year. Yeah. It's a new yeah. fun spin on Game of the Year, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. As we always do. Glad to be back. It feel, it's it's good good to be, feels good to have you back live, too. Bless. Especially for this. God, God bless. bless. Good luck. God bless. <laughs> um, yeah, this is lock and key. I'm going to sign us out. Uh, so Wait, we... before you do that, uh, I'm, uh, I'm we do a new sign. I need to do a new sound thing because we didn't do it when we started. Uh, what? I'm sorry. What are you doing? Please, uh, Hello? A little housekeeping. A little okay. housekeeping because we were supposed to do it at the beginning, but I, we didn't. Do it. Um, we're on YouTube now. Keep it. Keep Ver- the, search Immersion Gamer on YouTube. Please subscribe. We're putting we're putting breakout content on there. Correct. We're putting things on there. Um like us on and sub- and rate us on your podcast service of choice. Mm. I just got to I got to do these before we sign out, guys. No, 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 so, I, please no, do. no, no it's, it's good I'm because so we've definitely been making a push over the last couple of months to yes. like be better about having and content am, and being in different places. So I'm, please, I'm all over the YouTube right now. Mm-hmm. Me, me, and a super cool community member, Demos. Which want to give him a shout out. Thanks, has Demos. Been, Thank has you, been Demos. helping me get this thing alive, and it's Demos been has a, been editing for us, thing. and we've tried to find some way to compensate him and he just says no i love doing this and he's putting great work out here so demos thank you man Seriously, thank you. you're thank taking you. us to the next level thank honestly we appreciate it. it's amazing um so please subscribe there he's doing really good work i need to figure out how to do thumbnails i'm gonna learn that I, we we've talked about this there's I, a YouTube you, I got thumbnails. Thumbnails. Yeah. You just, all right you just, you just gotta let me know when, when there's when a tutorial on youtube for how to do i've never heard of course of there's, there's a whole you can there's a whole uh what's youtube course <laughs> You can go on YouTube. All right. They YouTube provide a University. video on what we'll makes talk about this. good we'll talk about thumbnails. Yes. But please follow us there, and um, go ahead, Locke. You may sign out now. You did the, you did the house. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. Um, it's really great to be back. I know that my schedule makes things rather difficult for you guys, so thank you, for, thank you for holding down the podcast for 2019. It's great to recap 2019. Uh, I just want to say that I am extremely proud of our Discord. Um, I know that I frequent destiny chat more than any other chat inside of the discord but everyone that contributes to our discord community i just want to say thank you to everyone even if i don't game with you a lot to everyone that spends time engaging with those that are in our bubble it is most appreciated especially this thank you all yeah seriously it's a welcoming bubble um so so thank you all um if you're not a part of our discord and you're in the chat or you or you're lurking and you want to be just message us in some form of fashion on our social media so we can send you a Discord invite. Um, I'm excited for the things that the Discord will accomplish in 2020. It's going to be a big year for us. Um, I'm super excited. Um, so to, to plug myself, to Neo's point, uh, I'm starting to stream a little bit more. When, when, I, when I game, I'm going to just start going live. I'm not going to have a schedule. You know, it's just going to go out on Twitter when I, when I go live. Diamond Jab, I want to give him a shout-out because he's been pushing me to create some content. Um, so I'm really going to try and uh, start creating some clips or some content to put out into the universe in 2020. So that's my plan. Uh, for now, just follow me on Twitter at lock underscore key. You'll see it under my body. It used to be really big under my body, but now it's the same size as everybody else. 
So just <laughs> follow me there on Twitter. Anytime that's a, anything that's a happens, show shout out. Uh, anytime anything happens, it will go. Lo- it will go on Twitter first. Uh, so thank you guys. I'm excited for 2020. Oh yeah, this is Felix Hergood. I'm on Twitch and Mixer simultaneously. Uh, it's Felix Hergood. Felix Hergood on both. And I'm going to be streaming a lot of interesting games in 2020. Uh, Resident Evil 3, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, all with it probably in the same month. That's going to be a nightmare. Um, <laughs> I stream Fallout 76 on two consoles, the PlayStation and the Xbox. He didn't know that. <laughs> oh, my he, God. He didn't know that. That's a post-episode uh, discussion. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> um, and then I also play Marvel, oh Ultimate, <laughs> Marvel Ultimate Alliance and... Uh, <laughs> You didn't know? It's, oh, oh. God, it was not the time when there was bourbon in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. <laughs> this is Trip Zero. You guys can find me uh, exclusively on Mixer.com slash Trip Zero TV. You ditched that Twitch? Ditch Twitch. Oh, man. Um, all of my socials are Trip Zero TV. Very, very easy to find. This Monday starts the new 2020 schedule of, uh, for the time being, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, Monday through Saturday. We'll be gaming. Um, along with a new segment when I start my stream being uh, This Day in Gaming, where we talk about mm-hmm. what happened uh, over the years in the past on that specific date. So there's a lot uh, a lot of fun stuff yep. coming through 2020. Uh, a lot of games we're excited for, and it's going to be a good time. So find me there. And I'm Neo Ayoshi. You can follow me at twitch.tv slash Neo Ayoshi, twitter.com slash Neo underscore Yoshi. I've been back on, I'm back on a Monster Hunter kick. Mm, my buddy nice. booted it up, and we're playing. I saw it you in the voice chat the other day. I was lurking. I, I yeah, was scrolling you saw me through. in there. Yeah. I think I'm going to do a thing called Monster Hunter Mondays. Nice. And I'm just going to play cool. Monster Hunter on Mondays, on Dope. or whenever I feel like it. Honestly, I'm just going to just call it that though, because it, it's fun. I like it. Um, and that's it. Maybe uh, I'll stream more Zelda, cool. or Tarkov if I decide to get it. Tarkov Anything I'm great. playing, usually you could just find whatever I'm playing on Twitch. Makes sense. Yeah. Twitch and Twitter, I think, is the most important for all of us. We're yes. very communicative on the socials. So absolutely, yeah. I'm always there. Cool, dope. Thank right. you. See you next Guys, week. Guys, thanks. See Later. you next year.